All right, here we are live. Hello, hello, hello. It's been about a month. Of course, I go live right as my dog goes getting fed. So I apologize if you can hear him munching down on his food and his auto feeder going. But um, yeah, we are live. Been about a month since we did the last one of these. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I've got a lot of energy today. Uh, big week. A really big week. Um, you know, we got the announcement that War Horse is finally going to be giving us something this week. Uh, we don't know what game it is yet. But we do know it's getting announced on Thursday. So, DNK, yes, I have. New War Horse game is coming, which, uh, which we don't know what it's going to be. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the announcement trailer is going to be uh, this Thursday. Um, that was uh, the first time I saw it was by uh, Roxy over at Sexy Biscuit. She uh, she kind of dropped the news and then a bunch of the others, um, you know, ESO Danny and, and all them uh, dropped it. So I'm excited. Um, it's been over six years. Um, and it, it, it keep in mind, this is just the announcement of the, of the name and like a teaser. I don't know if it's going to be a full on trailer, but, um, a Western RPG, wouldn't that be something? I think Rockstar has that Western RPG scene covered. Um, what I really want is, you know, something we don't really have, you know, like a medieval RPG with, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff like that, you know. There's nothing really on the market that's, you know, filling that niche. And I think Warhorse can come in very nicely and uh and fill that fill that gap. But um yeah, I I have a feeling they're going to be announcing it on Thursday. I have a feeling it's not going to be very quick. Uh if I had to guess, I'm going to say it's probably going to drop either around the holidays of 2024 or it's going to be close to um, February 13th of 2025. Uh, just because the, uh, the initial release, I believe, of Kingdom Come Deliverance was on February 13th, so they might try to line that up. The poster looked Western. I don't know. Yeah, it's... You can't really tell a lot from that poster, can you? I think what it might be is that they just kind of put a horse on there for War Horse, you know, studios. I don't know if that was necessarily um, a look ahead at what the game is going to look like. I could be wrong. You know, no one no one really knows. There's only a few people that actually know. But, um, yeah, I I really genuinely don't know what you know what to expect from it but i have a feeling it's going to be kingdom come deliverance 2 or you know the new name for it i have some theories on what names they might they might go for but yeah so that's going to be 8 p.m this thursday central eastern standard time which um i don't know about anyone here i believe i made a post about it i think it's around 2 p.m uh, Eastern Standard Time. So if you're here in the States, it's, uh, you know, whatever the conversion is. So that would be what noon, uh, if you're on the West coast, um, or was it 3 PM? Hang on. I got to look at my post. I, I, as soon as I saw the announcement, I started doing, uh, I started doing the calculations in, in my head 2 PM. Okay. So it'll be 11 a.m. if you're on the West Coast in the States, um, or 2 p.m. on the East Coast in the States. If you're if you're watching anywhere else, then just look up what CEST is and uh, look at your local time and just do the math from there. All right, so that's the announcement part out of the way. Um, so this is going to be the last set of live streams before we know what's, what's looking ahead. Now let's look at today. What are we doing today? 
Uh, today, this challenge run is can you beat Kingdom Come Deliverance without ever opening the player menu? So um, that means we are not allowed to, at any point in the game, open our inventory, our uh, stat menu, so nothing there. Are uh, the codex, the map, or the quest log? Um, I think it'll be interesting because it puts so many restrictions on everything. So, what does that mean? We're not going to be able to equip weapons or armor. We're not going to be able to take potions. We're not going to be able to do bandages. We're also not going to be able to select any perks. Uh, we can't look up quest objectives, so, you know, we kind of have to listen to what they actually want. I know the map pretty well. I know the game pretty well. But going into hardcore mode, it doesn't really give you your objectives, so it's still going to be pretty hard. It's very easy to get lost. Personally, I think this is going to be one of the harder challenges that I've tried on the channel. Um, I genuinely do. Excuse me. But, uh, you know, I've done some testing on it. I know that it's doable for the beginning part. I'm going to try to see if we can go all the way through the game with it. Now, also, how, how I've done it. So, generally, I play on a controller. Like, this is on my PC, but I play on a controller. So, for anyone that plays on console or has uh, controller support on the PC... Basically, I just went into the files and I disabled the up direction button and the down direction button. So if you look, you know, I've got that on the screen. Um, that's not changing. So up and down doesn't work. So I can't open it by mistake. Um, and on the controller, if you push down, it opens inventory. If you hold down, that's the player menu. Pushing up is the map and holding up is the quest log. So those are disabled. So I'm unable to open the menu even if I wanted to because it's going to be second nature you know we get into an encounter or something so um yeah any form of that is disallowed now I am still allowed to trade I'm still allowed to steal I'm allowed to do all that stuff it's just we're gonna have to kind of work out a way on how we can do this stuff so I'm excited um ready to get going like I said I I have uh a lot of energy today. Really excited for Thursday. Tonight, we got UFC 300, one of the biggest UFC cards in the last six years. So, um, let's get to it. So, we're going to start the new game. I believe, of course, I have all seven play lines. Let's go to, I think, this one. All right. And hardcore. I twice. All nine negative perks continue. And away we go. Looking forward to it. Anyone in chat? How are you guys doing today? Uh, TNKW, I see you guys are in there. Um, thank you so much. I just had, a, had to get that part out in the beginning. I was really excited to especially go on and, and talk to everyone, see everyone. So... Say hello down in the uh, down in the comments if you're here. Thank you guys for being here. It means a lot. We're uh, we're getting started. so looking forward to the sound of the follow-up game this morning. if they did that good of a job you get up to last night? with the uh, the soundtrack for this one i can't wait to see what they do in the next one okay so speech agility vitality or strength i'm thinking for this one i'm going to 
have to go with strength and see i'm i'm even having to uh to rework my brain already because in order to select these i usually hit the direction buttons you know to pick the different dialogue not really able to um unfortunately so that's gonna take a little bit to uh to program my brain around but we're gonna go strength twice for this in the forge all day yesterday we're going to go like that. What do you plan to eat? So we're going to have to so eat have either at the cooking pot. pots or well, I'm going I to have to go to the bathhouse. So uh, either one of those pot. will what usually harm? fill you up. What harm does it do? But that's, uh, yeah, that's myself. pretty much going to be the limit of what we oh, actually can now. eat is the cooking you pots. Know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted on your own head. And see, I don't know if you've played in hardcore mode. The cooking there. pots don't really do a whole lot. I think they give you eight don't nourishment, but they take out. away like six energy. So it's actually that's not the um, ideal way of staying fed. His father ang Alrighty. So yeah, see, so now that we're in the main game, I can't open it. So even if we were to pick up this cheese, I don't have a way to access it. So it does us no good to go around and pick any of this stuff up. So we're just going to have to do the cooking pot, and I have to hope that I find a couple in town. I think there's a uh, there's a couple in town. Now, this stuff I will actually pick up because there's going to be a way. There's going to be a way to access that. Uh, does us no good. We'll need the lockpick for that. And uh, for this playthrough, I haven't done this in a while, but for this playthrough, I think I am actually going to go through and loot a lot of uh, scallops. Just because I'm going to need some initial money in the beginning, like coming right out. And I'll, I'll kind of explain that why. Why I need that as we get a little bit further into the playthrough. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do to with what? I'm running out of ch I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's Kunesh. Well, you're a big l sure a not quite. I have a rough idea of what I'm doing, but it's not fully fleshed out. Um usually whenever I do any of these challenge runs, I'll I'll typically kind of go up to the part where we go hunting with Hans Cape on. Just so I know that the concept actually works. Like if there's a soft lock or something up before that, which there wasn't any before that, but Moving forward from there, I have How no you, idea Henry? what the hell's going to happen. Father sent me. So, uh, right. yeah, we'll have you. to see. When did I ever bought... Ah, right away. Magnet. You certainly... There we go. Cross guard done. Now we're going to need to pick up the, uh, the lock picks from Matthew Fritz. Uh, is there anyone here? Mother's not coming down, is she? Could be good to start building up my Grosh and... Yeah, we're taking this guy out. There we go. Getting started nice and early. Because see, the Grosh and we don't actually need to open our, our inventory to do. And oh, again... Um... Yeah, nothing else. We're not going to be able to access it. So we're allowed to open like that looting menu and stuff. But as far as access to our own, we, it just kind of has to sit there. So inventory management is going to be essential. Because if we pick something up, we I'll can't just you, open man. it and drop it. So we're going to have to be one. very careful about what we actually pick up and when we pick it up. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for hmm. a lot more than just the axe and hammer. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. So I'm going to actually ask for this one so we don't have to so fight him. And, don't come back. and let's go look at his chest so we can get the lockpicks and then we can start kind of uh, going around and lockpicking. Oh, and he's got a he's got a cooking pot, doesn't he? Yes. All right. We're taking your food. We're going to need that. There we go. Mm, a locked chest. And we I'll got the prompt. Perfect. Fritz might have one. All right. Off to a good start. So for anyone that's uh, 
That's curious. Also, I like to wait to loot Scalots. What is? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the kid. Train hand combat with the cows. His cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison. Um. He had to invade with his army. Probably not. I'm gonna try to stay away from grinding too much in this one, just to stay kind of low level. Um. I'll do it, but I need your help in return. Kuna shows money to father. No problem. We'll back. I'll be happy to sell. All right. Okay. And we got to talk to him real quick. It's just that some. Never. There we go. We got the lockpick. So before we actually go and throw the poop, uh, the Deutsch is going to come back to his house and start patrolling. So I'm actually going to get rolling a little bit on lockpicking. Just a little bit so we can uh, we can rob the Deutsches and go from there. Um, we're going to go back to the house real quick because that's going to be one of the easier chests inside Henry's home. And a lot less likely that we get caught, especially if we break a lockpick. And then we're probably going to head back to the tavern. They have a few uh, back rooms that we can access. Should go pretty nicely. Get a couple levels of XP out of this. Get a little bit of gold. Should be good. Mm, I don't like that start. See, if you open it up multiple times. There we go. See how that's nice and big right now? That should give us some pretty good odds to open it, but... Yeah. First try, baby. Groshen. Uh... We can sell that. We can't read it, but we can sell it, and we can sell that too. So, it is worth picking certain stuff up, but I think... I think I'm gonna go for the rule of thumb that if it's not at least, like, 50 Groshen... At the start, I'm not going to bother because we're going to run out of room really quickly in his inventory, especially if we can't drop stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll be able to sell that once we get out of here. Panther actually happy. Yeah, no, I love it. I love the game. I still play it all the time. Um, only recently, you know, about, about a year ago, I figured I'd start actually trying to, what the hell is going on here? You okay? Now she's just stuck and frozen. Are you embarrassed? She was moonwalking. Uh, all right. Let's rob Bianca of all her stuff. Let's start up here. A little bit less likely to get caught. As long as we don't get heard. A little bit of groshing up here, but... Yeah, I'm on controller right now. Picking locks is still my kryptonite, so it's not too bad once you kind of get it. See, see how that starting location is nice and big, so you don't actually have to move it all that much. You know, it's right here off the end, as opposed to if it was out here, you really got to follow it around. So here, it's not so bad. So you're just kind of able to do it. Fairly easily. Even on con even on controller, I believe you can actually go in and access it and make it uh, simpler. But see here, okay, perfect. Per this is a perfect example. So it's tiny. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that. the The likelihood is we're gonna probably gonna break it. Now it's even smaller. Not gonna bother. We're just gonna keep on opening it till it's nice and big like that. Right there towards the center. Easy peasy. Just got to know what game mechanics you can break and exploit to make the game a little bit easier. And uh, it starts starts almost playing itself somewhat. Ah, oh, shit. We're hungry again. God. Hunger is going to be a real problem in this. Because... Especially here at the start. Oh. That was funny. Um... Yeah, we're not going to be able to, like, stockpile food. Like, I can't even kill the chickens and cook them. We have to rely on cooking pots and, uh, and the bathhouse, and that's not really accessible to us here. I don't think it'll work out unless you're very, very rage tolerant. <laughs> Well, luckily I am pretty rage tolerant, but I have an idea. I think that there's a lot of game mechanics that are underutilized that will help us get through this 
fairly rage free. I say fairly. Not completely. I'm sure there's going to be parts of this game where I'm fucking screaming and yelling. But I have a rough idea of how we can get through this. Hopefully it works. Nothing worse than, you know, spending... Oh, God. What's it been about? Mm, I want to say maybe about 10 days. I've kind of thought about, you know, the idea of this run and testing and... Oh, shit. We broke one. That was my own fault. I was trying... Oh, my God. Oh, I've got the yips now. Oh, God. And we got a bounty. Hmm, <laughs> that might not be good. I, I gotta try and, uh... Hmm, shit. Oh, God, here they come. Stop. Okay, I don't know how much... How much this is gonna be. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, this is not off to a great start, is it? Um, let's try. Yeah. It's a surely Shit. no way to treat one of Sir Radzig's men. Shit, we might have to restart. Like when he finds out. Try your ferry. Well, we have to flee. We can't. We can't go to jail. Um, we're gonna have to flee, and I just have to hope that maybe activating one of the other quests will work. <sighs> I love to get something to eat. That I'm or I'm to just going to die. Let's uh let's head off to the friends. I I, I don't think this is going to work. I think we're dead. I'll be honest. I don't know if activating the friends was is going to get them off our backs. Nope, we can't even talk to them. Okay. Where are they? Well, they didn't follow. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a new challenge in all of itself. Can you complete scallops while having a bounty the whole time? Okay, come on. I, I don't see any guards around. Okay, we're, we're going to have to be smart here. Um, Let's get a bite to eat so we're not... Thank you. Is someone there? No, no one's there. Okay, so the guards are unaggroed on us. Let's try to complete this so they can help us with uh, Kunesh. And then we're going to have to be very careful going right. through the town. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Hmm. Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you... And that's a... I... Why me? <laughs> okay. Boy, this just got really tricky. Let me save just in case, but... What do you want, lad? I like it. I like I like when stuff kind of doesn't go to plan, so I have to. I what sort? I have to problem solve here now. Cause now I got to make it back to the tavern. Yeah, this is okay. I think. We'll see. Henry feels hungry every two seconds. Yeah, he's he's probably gonna be saying that a lot on this run. I'm not going to lie to you. He's probably going to be saying that every 20 seconds. Fire the trebuchet for king and country. <laughs> for king and country, my ass. This is all good. I like it. Clean. Fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! I love how they just do this for fun. Like. This is the first idea that they have when they when they have a uh, a quarrel with someone. Nope. Get out of here. Nope. Oh, you bastard. Come on, get him, Fritz. There we go. Yep. Get him, Fritz. There we go. Nice hit, Fritz. We'll finish him off. Bam. There we go. Oh God! Was that Matthias that just hit me? The other guys, that, that was Matthias. And Matthew got his ass kicked. All right. Uh, 
I have to be I have to be smart here. I think I'm gonna go and learn the sword lesson right now because at least the catch bowl is not gonna be patrolling up there. Now that we have that bounty, we have to be careful. Any encounters with the guards and, and this run pretty much ends and we gotta start back from the beginning. Oh shit. I didn't talk to the combat master. I did not talk to the combat master, which means we got to go right by the fucking guards. Oh. Okay. Got to got to do this smart here. Uh is this run going to be mostly pacifist? So we'll see. I have an idea on how we can do combat. Uh the short answer is going to be no. But we have to see how my combat strategy is going to work before I determine that. Um, I have an idea on how we can do combat. Okay, so the catch pulls down there. You know what? I'm going to use this opportunity to God. buy the charcoal. Um, we're not, we're going to lose all that stuff in a minute anyway, so I might as well get what I can out of it. And we are allowed to haggle in this one. Finally, I'm in, I'm in one where I'm allowing myself to haggle. I think we have enough uh, negatives in this one that I don't feel bad for haggling. Very well, I agree. Okay, let's talk to him. Yes. All right. Okay, that's him out of the way now. Oh shit, the bailiff is right there. Um. Okay, well he's gonna take a minute. We're gonna have to sneak in here, talk to Bianca, and get the ale. I just have to be careful that none of the guards see me. And the bailiff. Oh shit, there's a guard right there. Okay. This just got so much... Oh god, there he goes. Quick, Bianca. Yes. Oh. Save my love. Yes. Your beauty. No. I need a a pitch. Aye. <laughs> okay, we got the ale. Thanks. It's a make. I'm really hoping as soon as I come out of this, he promised. What? As soon as I come out of this uh, speech, he doesn't just absolutely demolish us. Here we go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hopefully we don't pick up any other guards, but I think we can outrun the bailiff. I don't hear him. I don't hear him behind me. I think we lost him. We lost him. All right. There we go. Come on. Talk to me. Is that also all our objectives? Ah, oh, well, I can't open up my quest log. <laughs> you see, it's a little stuff like that that really messes with you, because now I'm trying to think in my head, did I hit everything that I needed to hit to progress out of scales, and I can't open my fucking quest log to check it? Come on, get out of combat. Because I'm a wanted man. So... Can we get started? Yes, we can. We can. Good. And since today's the last I'd like time to see that option too, third person and KCD2. I think it's going to make some of the game mechanics a little bit weird. Um like the like the combat, like the bow cuz they do have a Nexus mod that allows third person, but of course this game wasn't designed to be played in third person, so obviously that one doesn't really you know, isn't that optimized for it all right all right now try to hit me um you put your weight but yeah your it would be cool it would you definitely make uh you know looking at your armor and stuff a lot a lot sides. easier unpredictability is the yes key. i already got the Never cross guard that was the first thing we grabbed uh ask him we are not going to be able to equip armor nor are we going to be able to take any perks very good um <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty much going to be a, a naked run perkless. Very 
for the duration of this run so i'm trying to see how far we can actually get ideally we can we can beat the entire game but i don't know how far we can actually get nor are we going to be able to equip weapons or take potions or use bandages like it it puts a lot of restrictions on us strikes i'll have a much harder time as soon as you land one blow follow it with another Very good. Um, so we can actually do the sword fight after taking the ale. This isn't part of those initial objectives. I don't think it's going to spoil. And we don't actually have to beat up Kunesh because we got the charcoal. I think as soon as we get the charcoal, this should work. Now, I could be completely wrong and find out that we're totally fucked. But I know for a fact the ale, we don't have to wait until after after the sword fight um the only issue is there is a guard that walks up this path and if he's up there we are screwed yep there he goes there he is okay so let's go hide over by the sword actually no we can probably hide right about i want to see where he is let's hide right about here as soon as we see him come out of there and get to about the well we can sneak back there and we're good. There he is. Boy, this is tense. There he goes. All right. And we are back. We are a wanted criminal, but we are back. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see if father accepts our stuff. Yeah, about time. Not yet. Oh, I'm shit. And how? No. Again, directional buttons don't work, so I can't access my inventory, and I'm used yeah, to navigating the dialogue with direction buttons. There the we go. The hilt and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. All right. Moment well of done. truth. Yes. Well done. We're good. We got all the way through Scalettes with a bounty. The job the master in Sassel did for us. During the fist fight. It's frustrating losing to him. So I just kept loading with... <laughs> just to get your pride? Yeah, man. I, I think that Kunesh was honestly even a, uh, a big part of why people didn't continue playing. Because they thought that the combat was broken. They're like, I can't hit, I can't block, I can't counter. Like, they thought that was going to be the combat the entire game. Not knowing... Oh, you have to learn all this stuff. So I feel like Kunesh has made a lot of people quit. A lot of people cashed in their Steam two-hour uh, returns uh, based on Kunesh. So I'm glad you were one of the ones that pushed through. By the way, someone paid me a call. Yeah. I reckon you might know what it was about. And the game doesn't flat out tell you that you can that you can use your friends to beat them up. So I feel a lot of people their very first run through. They just followed the objectives. They went straight to Kunesh because he was the nearest objective to them. Got their absolute shit kicked in and just thought that was going to be the, the entire game. Was It was going to be that hard. That will do. All right. Thanks. So how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Yeah, that also didn't work. I the plan was I was gonna try to rob all of Scallets, but we got that bounty so quick. There's no way that we would actually be able to survive that. The uh, we don't have enough to pay off our bounty, and if we get thrown in jail here, the run ends and we die. So. Pair of perverts. Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. The honor is mine. There we go. Yeah, you stealth choked him later? Yeah, I think a lot of people did. They just wanted to... He instantly became one of the most hated characters because of that first encounter. I feel like even after you meet him in Ratai, he tells you where the treasure is. I mean, I still feel that resentment, and I usually employ him in, in uh, 
and Privis love it, you know, because he gets you a pretty decent amount of groschen if you employ him as a woodcutter. And I still hate the guy. First impressions go a long way, and mine with him was not positive. Yeah, a simple woodcutter, a simple drunk woodcutter too. Like he's he's pretty pathetic, you know. But I guess when the comparison is a woodcutting drunk or a you know an 18 year old that drinks all the time with his friends, I guess he is pretty strong by comparison. Yeah. See, and that's where Nexus Mods comes in, because I believe if you get the Annihilation Mod, I haven't tested everyone that you can kill, but most of the essential NPCs become killable. I think uh, Radzig, Hanush, uh, Lady Stephanie and stuff. I haven't tried uh, Kunesh ever in Scalets, but be fun to try sometime on the challenge. Download the Annihilation Mod and see if you can kill him just for... I don't know, like you said, pride. Cause fuck that guy. I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to most in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is killing that bald motherfucker. Him and Isvan talk. Both of them need to fucking die. Both of them. I can't tell you how many times I've beaten this game and it still hurts my heart when every time they uh, they get away. You don't get the f in either of them. Spoilers, by the way. If, if anyone's watching this live stream and has never completed the game, I'm sorry if, uh, if I'm saying something that's shocking, but yeah. You don't get to either one of them in this one. But when Kingdom Come 2 is announced on Thursday, will be able to. Yeah, you play on PlayStation? That's actually how I started out. I only recently, I want to say maybe three or four, about three months ago is when I got it on PC. And, um, I mean, it's not drastic. What it really helps with is, one, the game looks a little bit better. I'll say, obviously, you know, running it at I think I average about 120 FPS as opposed to, uh, I, th I think the PlayStation is honestly, I think it's locked at 30. Um, so it looks better, but what it really does is it lets you content create so much easier. Because if there's a certain part of the game that I'm trying to capture for any of the videos that I make and stuff, I'm able to just sort of eat my way through. And it just makes it so much easier. Oh shit, we didn't save Teresa. Mm. I'd feel bad if we don't. There we go. Alright, Teresa got saved. Oh god, but at what, co what cost? Oh my god, we barely got away. <laughs> I knew you guys were going to be upset if we didn't save Teresa and it almost got me killed. So, I did that for you, chat. I did that for you. Yep. There we go. Here's the end of our adventuring days. Taking that arrow to the knee. That's it. Adventure's done. That's it, guys. We all know those Skyrim NPCs. They were adventurers until taking yeah. arrows to the knee. And their adventuring days are finished. You know, come to think of it, since we can't actually steal the saddle off of this one because I can't open... I should have taken that black one. That black one is so much faster. But we should still be able to lose them. There's a, there's a little kind of path I like to take to mess up their pathing. You kind of go along the woods right here and then jump over that moat. They, they can't jump, so they'll usually fall behind. But right about here. Yeah. You're generally able to get away from them. Yeah, see that messes with their pathing, and then even with a sm uh, even with a slow horse, you can generally get away from them. Run for it.
genuinely my biggest fear in this is having that hemophiliac perk and i don't have bandages available to me so basically anytime we bleed in this game it is pretty much guaranteed death pretty much a guarantee that we're gonna die run for it <laughs> what the fuck That was weird. Oh my God, no! They're not even behind me. They're just running from me at this point. <laughs> All right, we made it. Oh shit, I didn't even think of this. How the fuck am I going to eat in Talmberg? Jump up on rocks or have to run away a lot? Yeah. I'm thinking so. Because with no armor, hemophiliac, and no bandages, we're going to have to be careful. Pretty much every... Every encounter could be a one-tap. Even if, even if the initial hit doesn't immediately kill me. Um... I have a feeling I'll bleed to death if I get hit by anything. I don't remember how the hell last time when I was testing how I got out of Townburg without eating. Because there's definitely not enough cooking pots. Oh, I think I just said fuck it and just... Because you get healed once you go back to Scalots. So... I don't think that the hunger is going to be that big of a deal. We'll lose some health. But, uh, oh, I know exact. Oh, I remember. I remember. Nope. No big deal. No big deal. We'll make it. <clears throat> we'll have to see. I don't, I don't think off the top of my head Someone that we do. That's the thing. That's what made dish. this, that's what made this come around. Because I... You know, I'm big on inventory management. Like, everything about my game, I like to have a certain amount of stuff in my inventory. Um, Tell me, boy. Stuff like you? that. I think that the restrictions... I don't know if the game actually forces you to. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Ramu, say, hey, thanks for stopping in, man. What are the rules? Uh, no player menu allowed. So no inventory, uh, no perks no map no codex and no uh quest log so as you can see i'm trying to access any of them that's it we are not allowed to access access anything well. in our player menu I'm at any time um yeah all this food around here we can't really take but i have a plan i always have a plan you're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man? Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Okay, so we are absolutely starving. Picking that up does us no good. Can you reload? Yeah, no, it's not permadeath. We're probably going to have to be reloading a lot. Um, now... I don't like to save scum. So I'll say that right now. Um, I don't like save scumming. So if we die, we're allowed to reload. But if I just fuck up, I, I kind of like to live with live with the consequences. Um, so that's that cooking pot. Where are the other cooking pots around here in, in Townburg? We're going to need all of them that we can get. So that's technically not your player menu or inventory. We're allowed to pick stuff up. Like we can we can go in here and like I can rob this right now. So for example, um you know, I can pick stuff up out of there. The problem is if I do, I'm not going to have a way to access it. So basically we can open that and we can sell it, but I'm not going to be able to eat those even if I put them into my inventory. So uh for the hunt you know, I can kill the rabbits and I can put them in my inventory and I can win, but I don't have a way to actually 
use anything with them. Does that make sense? Plus also for that quest, if you remember, we need a bow, which I'm not going to be able to open my inventory to equip a bow. So I think we're going to have to uh, beat the shit out of the rabbits with our fists. Okay, where are some other cooking pots around here? I don't want to starve to death. Um, I think there might be one upstairs, and I think there's some in the guard barracks around here. We're going to have to see. Let's see. Cooking pot? No. There's one in here, isn't there? Nope. God, they have one fucking cooking pot in the whole city? Uh, I don't think it does. Um, I think it gives you access that you can open... Uh, that you can open the, um... Chest that gives you a bow, but you have to open your inventory to actually equip the bow. So... Or just fail on purpose. Oh yeah, you could use mut. Well, see, here's the problem. Uh, Moogle, you bring up a good point. We can use mutt to hunt. To use mutt to hunt, we have to uh, give him the perk hunt, which we can't open the perks menu. So he wouldn't be able to hunt for us anyway. It's a, it's a perk that we would have to unlock. See, there's a lot. When you think about it, it's like the more ideas you kind of have. That's what excited me about doing it was the more ideas I had. I'm like, well, well, I could just cheese it this way. And then I'm like, well, no, actually, I couldn't because I'm not going to have access to this, you know? So that's kind of what excites me about these. Hmm. Cooking pot, orange goo. <laughs> orange goo. This is impossible on hardcore. Well, we'll find out. This is on hardcore. Um, <laughs> I would open the perks menu to show you that we have all nine negative perks, but unfortunately, that is unavailable. But yes, no, this is on hardcore and all nine negative perks. Um, we're just going to have to sleep hungry as shit. I think it actually... Oh, I'm too hungry. So, well, let's wait then. Oh, nourishment is zero? Fuck. Are we just going to starve to death here? Is is that really what's going to happen? Or are we just going to starve to death? Hmm. How the hell did I get around this the last time? I, I know I did it. I did it in testing. How the hell I did it, I don't remember. But I found a way. If I'm too hungry to sleep, can I just, do I have to sleep or maybe I just waited. I just waited until the nighttime. That could very well be what I did. <laughs> okay, so we can't leave can't do that um where are you so we already did the we already did the pot in the kitchen that one's yeah that one's already done and then in the lower village that portcullis is down so we can't access just yet you see the gate is down so we have to stay up here and i think i think i'm right in saying that's the only two fucking pots um hmm we can put a potion in the pot um but we already ate from it so we wouldn't be able to eat from it again today fuck son of a bitch why do I do this to myself like just make myself impossible challenges. It's who I am when uh, next time you plan to stream. So I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow. Um, I should be on maybe around the same time, if not a bit sooner. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. Um, I kind of like it. So it's it's just afternoon my time. 
um, and I kind of I like that start time but I know sometimes it can be a little bit inconvenient so I might go a little bit sooner tomorrow but yeah I'll uh, I'll have it posted up on the channel as soon as I figure it out um, as to what time we'll start tomorrow honestly it depends on what time I get in tonight because UFC 300 is tonight and I am 100% watching that um, one of the biggest fight cards of the year so depending on how drunk I plan on getting We'll determine what time we do that. Uh, I'll tell you what's going to get really annoying is him heavy breathing like this the whole, the whole time he's hungry. Let's see if there's any more cooking pots somewhere that we can use. Those don't do us any good. Oh, my word. Oh. Let's go, then oh. I'll be tuned. Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a guard oh. up here. I need to lie down before I split my face open from yawning. Fuck you. Oh, it won't let me knock him out? Really? Why won't you let me knock him out? This hey, game. No. Don't tell me we get a fucking bounty here in Talberg, too. Oh, God. We got to get out of here. <laughs> the game. <laughs> Fucks me again. It won't let me knock out the guard. Oh, we gotta go. Okay. Um, so there is no more. You won't die when you're hungry. We will very slowly. I think it takes about three endgame days to starve to death. Uh, the problem is we need to sleep right now to progress. Or maybe we don't. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try it. I don't know if we actually need to sleep in order to progress it's actually not the worst idea do they feed you in jail get arrested um fuck it let's try and see yes okay we don't actually have to sleep it suggests that we sleep that's how I did it okay I just sat down on the bed and waited because you're allowed to wait while you're hungry but if your nourishment is like below 25 it won't let you sleep and I think right here we get some nourishment back like doing this cutscene with with uh Lady Stephanie but Norson they do feed you in jail uh partially but you still end up usually coming out of jail starving but as a last resort that's definitely something we can use give the intrusion didn't wake you, Alchemy technically yeah. open your inventory, doesn't it? Um, not really. So what I'm considering my inventory is no, the no, player no. menu that you can open from here. So but technically going into a chest, I've taking out of a chest, um, selling or any interaction Just such as alchemy obviously. technically isn't my inventory no, per no. se. Here's the problem. Let's say we go ahead and do alchemy, really right? we make a bunch of potions we don't have a way to take them well we have a way to take them we don't have a way to take them traditionally um so i can make a thousand a thousand potions but i won't be able to just pop them in battle whenever i want so it's kind of it's that fine balance of like let you know you're not alone can't die if you get arrested yeah that's true yep she brings us food so this should restore some of our nourishment and automatically, I think it'll, uh... I'm sorry, my lady. Oh, shit. God, I did it again! Close to me died there. <sighs> okay, so for those that weren't around at the very beginning of the stream, uh, in order to disable the menu and everything, I'm on a controller, right? I disabled the up and down feature uh, to stop myself being able to open my inventory. Unfortunately... It's taken me everything to reprogram because I select dialogue from my no direction buttons. Because down and up don't work, I keep always hitting the very first option available to me, so it's gonna fuck me so much on this game where I'm just gonna accept to go to jail or something when I'm trying to talk my way out of it, so... Son of a bitch. It's, it, it's having to reprogram my, my way of playing. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skeleton. Um, Asim, uh, 
taking my clothes off so i sold them because the thing is the only time we're actually going to be able to even have them equipped was through the uh was through the um tutorial because remember when when runt beats the shit out of you you wake up naked at the mill you actually have to take them back out of your uh chest and re-equip them um so i didn't think it made a whole lot of sense for me to just hold on to the clothes when all they're essentially gonna do is just get destroyed by runt uh so i just went ahead and sold them um here we're actually gonna go ahead Yeah, if you get arrested in Townburg, it's not a full-blown cutscene. You get taken to that door right there. And basically, the story kind of plays out the same way. Here, we can do it. I'll, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you what happens, because that's actually a little bit of a quicker way. And we are still starving our asses off. So apparently, yeah, Stephanie does not actually give you any food. All she gives you is a little bit of uh, energy. But apparently we're still starving our asses off. Okay. Uh, the reason we're doing this and we're going to fall down the fucking ladder. Because this is still bugged. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Love breaking my fucking ankles. Um, the reason we're taking this is because we can sell it. Uh, but we can't take all of it. So see, this is allowed. We're not technically in our inventory. But the thing is, we're not going to be able to access it for ourselves. So we're taking that, that, uh, that, that, that. That, that. Basically taking everything above 100. Man, we can take that too. Okay. So, yeah. We're, we're, we're allowed to, like, take stuff like that. But the thing is, I can't actually use it. You know, I, I don't have a way to equip it. So all I can really do is take that to a merchant and sell it. And that's going to be our way of making money. W, hey, thanks. Uh, thanks for stopping in, W. We'll see you tomorrow, all right? I appreciate you. And now, do I dare try and try and rob through, rob our way through here? We got a bounty in Scallets trying to do it, but I want to make as much money as possible at the very, very start of the game. And I'll kind of, as the, uh, as the stream kind of gets on, I'll kind of show everyone what my ideas are going forward. But I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have the lock picking skill for either of those. Um, let's see definitely can't do anything in here maybe we can I think we might be able to get this one done yeah we can how are we gonna get out of here probably just steal the horse and run that's been the way I've done it the last couple times I don't like that starting position we're gonna keep on re-rolling What good does money even do? You will see. We are going to need some money. We're going to need some money. Uh, about 5000 if my plan goes according to plan. We'll, we'll have to see. Some good expensive stuff in there. Oh, shit. And we're over encumbered. Okay. See, and that's that's what I was worried about. Let's get rid of some of the... See, so I can't, I can't just go into my inventory and drop it. I have to go in here now. And, yeah, we don't need those patachasses or that. Good enough. All right. And see, if we hold on to this all the way through... Um, all the way through the uh, the runt beating, all this stuff becomes unstolen, and we can actually sell it to someone other than the miller. Uh, that's going to be very hard. We can't do that. Let's let's pay a visit to that um, downstairs. I wonder if that cooking pot reset. I wonder if that's a time thing because right now technically we're in a time lock. I, I wouldn't mind eating from it again, but I I don't know if it'll let me. Nope. Okay. We can cook an item, but we can't. Uh, oh, boy. It all looks delicious, doesn't it? 
all it's gonna god that's gonna be so tough just walking by food while we're starving knowing all i gotta do is pick it up and open my inventory and i fucking can't ah uh, that is rough fuck you we're knocking you out too What does he have on him? Oh, wait, he has some he has some groshen on him. Yeah, we're taking that. Okay. So actually, that's not a bad idea. We will go to jail right here and see if that gives us a little bit of nourishment. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give it sent to Scarlet, the spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. It doesn't make sense. What else did this boy say? Not much of anything. And you were right. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? Aye, we will. Farewell. Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robber? Sir Adzig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. Uh, let's catch back up with chat, see if I missed what are you anything. Doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Radzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for Panther, an yeah. It In so far movie, it was a bit of a It was all right. challenging just but trying to work your way through like what can I actually do? My old granddad used to say, would you like to? That's what intrigues me about open world games like this. Okay, so check this out. Panther, you were wondering what happens if we go to jail? I am curious too if it's going to heal us. So there we go. We surrender. Oh, surrender. Oh my God. I thought he was still going to fucking hit me. <laughs> I thought he was still going to hit me. So you should have thought twice. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough money. Oh no! Fuck! I fucked up. Because he's gonna take all my stolen shit. If we go to jail, he's gonna take all my stolen shit. Fuck me! <laughs> I just realized I was just trying to get a little bit of nourishment. Um, fuck. Well, now we have to. We, we have to. Ah, uh, shit. Get moving. We have to resteal so much shit. We're gonna have to resteal all that because now it's just gonna skip right to the morning. Yeah, here comes the bells and everything. Why? There's an army marching this way. If it's Sigismund, we'll need every capable yeah. man. Well, all right, but, but what can I? Where? Oh, you can put table. apples Wait. in the cooking pots to increase nourishment? We'll definitely have to try that. Fuck me! And it didn't even give me any nourishment. And we got a moy. This is going fucking terrible. <laughs> this is the worst start I've had in Kingdom Come Deliverance by far on any of these live streams. Oh my god. We are starving. We have a jail debuff. Both our ankles broken. And all of our stolen shit got taken. God. Boy, why are you guys here? I fucking suck at this game. Why are you guys watching? We're gonna have to rob all these peasants to get something. God. What an idiot. I can't fucking believe that. All right. These motherfuckers are gonna feel my wrath. I'm pissed off now. I just lost thousands of Groshen set myself back on how we're gonna do all this that's it all you motherfuckers come here you too cook i've had it with this town ye bastards let's actually see did he take all our shit yep he took he took fucking all of it okay well that's fine we're just we're just gonna have to scrounge for fucking scraps here taking everything we can 
so we can sell it. Yep, we're gonna be fucking selling nightgowns and shit. Axe, ten. God, you broke bastard. Um, I gotta try and see if there's any other guards that we can knock out. I don't think there's any more sleeping. I think they're all up front now, you know, on, on the plus side. Muhammad, part two on April 18th. I hope so. It's the, uh, it's the announcement for what the game is going to be, and I will be genuinely surprised if it's not Kingdom Come 2. Oh my god! And now we have a jail penalty here. Surrender. Okay, yep, okay, okay, I surrender, I surrender. Who are you carrying there? Is that a corpse? Now you're in deep shit, my friend. We're not fucking Stay carrying here, anyone. And I hope you rot there. And we just lost all our shit again. <laughs> <laughs> Jail. Okay, well maybe they kick us out of the town. Get moving. I hope you rot there. I probably will. Come on, quick. Oh. What? No, it just it basically what? just resets you. Okay, yeah. All right, to the <sighs> I'm done fucking around. We're just starving to death right now. We've got no stamina, no nothing. That's it. I'm done with this fucking town. I've done nothing but bad decisions. Uh, order. That's it. We're headed to Ratai. Uh, we'll talk to Robard. How are you? So, my parents. Goodbye. Is Robard high? Yeah, he definitely looks it, doesn't he? Why did Sigurd? That's war for you, lads. Oh, he doesn't Sigurd look at there, but yeah. Take things into their own hands <laughs> Seems to me. <laughs> who doesn't uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope it continues Henry's story too. I don't see them moving away from the main character. I really don't. But I mean, who knows? I could be wrong. I guess. Oh, finally some fucking food. Finally. Oh, look at that—a little tiny chunk. And of course, I don't have any apples to throw in there is the problem um can we buy any oh, oh fuck. Good health to you not gonna do us any fucking good to buy it because we can't we access our inventory to eat it god who thought this this run was a good idea kind of moron thought these rules were were good when i find that guy i'll fucking kick his ass jesus christ be brave I need to get my mother. I'm sorry. Okay. May the Lord watch over you. There's that. Let's head on over to uh, to Stephanie. Yeah, there you are. All your fucking gear back and everything, you bastard. I wonder if I can knock any of them out. Because I mean, okay. Hang on. I got an idea. I got an idea. It's probably terrible. But it's an idea. Because at this point, we just need to get out of Talmberg. The Lord save you. So, what do you need? The fuck? What is going on there? I would like to ask you. What was that? My lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter? I need to get out of. Why, for the love of. My parents are lying. That's. If I could just. But. Good thinking. And where can I get. Can't be. Where... In the game. Hey, bribe. This... Thank you. Okay, so we got the 20 groschen. Yeah, Mark Von Olitz and probably have, uh, so kind of the same as in this game, how the, the main antagonist was kind of Mark Bart. The one that you're actually, like, you were hunting the whole time was, um, um, Jesus, right now I'm having a blank on his fucking name. Um, that guy and uh runt was kind of his minion i i bet you that uh that mark von uh von Olitz is going to be the main guy and then his underling if you will is going to be uh the main antagonist of this one Take care. 
Okay. Um, let's try to knock out a Townberg soldier because one of two things is going to happen. Either we fail and they kick us out, which we need to go out anyways, or we succeed and we actually get that armor back, which is what I need. It's Van Toth. That's it. Thank you guys. Yeah, it's Van Toth. So, you know, you got, uh, Mark Von Olitz is the main, main guy who we never even like interact with. Um, it's Van Toth is, you know, the, the main antagonist of this one, I'd say just because he's the one actually behind all the operations. And then runt is his underling. I bet you, uh, uh, Mark Vart Von Olitz becomes, you know, takes it's Van Toth's place in the second one. And, uh, you know, the secondary is going to be it's Van Toth. We need one of them. I don't think any of them are sleeping still, but we can check. Let's check that other guard tower, see if there's any sleeping guards. I doubt it, and they're only going to be upstairs. No one sleeps ever downstairs. Sigismund wins, yeah. Well, I mean, when you also think about it, this, is, or this really isn't that cookie-cutter you know, happy story per se of a game either. Like essentially you fail, you know, the, the main objectives you set out to complete in this game, you completely fail. And I, I think I was talking with someone over, uh, over the comments. If you actually look at the history, uh, most of the protagonists in this, I want to say die within the next 15 years after this game ends. Uh, I want to say Radzik dies in like 1419, Hanush dies in 1415 or something. I'm not a history buff, by the way. I don't know if you could tell. But essentially, it's it's kind of doomed from the start because everyone that you love in this one has basically got 15 years of life or less left, and they all die. So, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Henry dies in this next one. I really wouldn't. As long as we can kind of finish his story arc and it ends in, you know, not just a cliffhanger, I'm happy. But yeah, I'm not expecting some, you know, some hero's journey, you know, come to a perfect end and, and he's the, uh, you know, this cookie cutter ending. Could very well end in complete tragedy. Okay, we're going to try to take this guy out. I doubt it'll work. Yep, it did not fucking work. All right, Boy, kick us out. Were... Kick us out. So it's you. You were seen mm. starting a brawl. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry. Because it'll take a nice Panther, you didn't watch the uh, the last NPC challenge run I did, did you? Because that's exactly what we did. I can't pay that. Well, it's a jail. Okay. Jail. Check us out. All right, let's go and get it over with quick. Become yeah, Baron okay. for Sigismund. <laughs> How well, dare you, Norson? How dare you put that evil on me? You enjoy there we your go. Time in our little establishment. Mm. Not much, actually. Glad to hear it. Smashed up in a tavern when he went to collect taxes. Oh, Oof. Go. I ah, you can. I'm sorry to say. <coughs> now bugger off and get yourself killed for all I care. And we still haven't gotten food, and we are taking a lot of damage. We are taking an awful lot of damage because right now I can see blood spots. So we're basically essentially starving to death here. Um, I wish I knew how much gold I had on me, but I have no idea. I don't think they're going to bother me because we got kicked out. So they're not going to take us back. Nope, they don't give a shit. Okay, we need to power run over to Scalas because I have a feeling I am going to starve to death if we don't. Um, I'm starting to even hear, you know what? No, we gotta, we gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. In fact, I'm going to make a save right there just in case.
Oh God. Uh oh. I have never seen that animation before, but then again, I've never been this hungry for this long before, so... This could very well be he's just starving to death and holding his stomach right now. Come on, Henry. Don't fucking starve to death before we can go on. Fist fighting right in the attic is so much fun. Yeah, it is. Uh, other games I'm into, so I'm really into... Um, I'm just into the RPG scene in general. Um, I think the game that, you know, uh, and I, I know this pisses a lot of people off in the community because they don't like this game being compared to it, but honestly, the, the thing that got me into this game was Skyrim. Um, I'm not comparing the two by any means, but it is a first person, you know, medieval ish kind of game. But I thought it would, this game would be like Skyrim, just without magic and, you know, lore accurate. Now, there's a lot more mechanics in it, so I ended up, you know, that's what took me from liking the game to absolutely loving it. But, um, Bethesda titles, um, I have not checked out Starfield. Uh, I had my doubts about it, and then once I saw some of the reviews and other people review it, they were kind of proved right. Um, so Bethesda titles like Fallout 3 and 4, uh, Oblivion, Skyrim, um, RPG games in general. I like the Assassin's Creed series. Um, I have actually a bunch. Um, any Rockstar titles, Grand Theft Auto 5, 4, uh, Red Dead Redemptions, but this is so far the only one I've really ever covered on the channel. Um, I like to kind of, you know, carve out a niche and stick to one game that way, you know, it, it's kind of, um, help give the channel a little bit of focus, help me decide which directions I like taking the channel, which it's looking now, honestly, where I get the most fun. Um, I like making guides. I like doing stuff like that, but I really get a lot of fun out of doing challenge runs. Like, there's just something so unique about taking a game that's already hard and making it even harder and seeing how far you can push it and still still make it playable. Is it better than Fortnite or what? Yeah, I'd say so. I've never played Fortnite, but... So, to me, yes, this game is much, much better than Fortnite. Yeah, you never got the hang of Skyrim. See, I, I got a really good grasp on Skyrim. If anything, for me, personally, it might be worth replaying because I only have Skyrim on the console. I've never er, um, I've never actually played it on the PC, and, you know, I see, I see people that cover Skyrim um, that have all these mods, like combat mods and all that, and it, it essentially makes it a brand new game. So, it might be worth for me to actually go back around and try it out again. Um, but, for now, you know, we're, we're gonna keep it to, uh, to Kingdom Come. And we'll see, depending how far out the, the next release of Warhorse is, how far out that is. Um, I might cover some other games on the channel. But, uh, I still have a couple things I want to do for, uh, for Kingdom Come, so... Might not be necessarily soon, but it is it is eventually a goal for me to branch out and cover some other games. So for anyone wondering what I'm doing right now, because we got all of our shit taken back at Townburg and I'm not going to be able to sell any of it, I'm just going here and we're going to um, grab this uh, this treasure map real quick. And that should give us some some stuff we can sell some initial gold we can't equip any of it but we can sell it and that stuff's all worth a, a pretty good price so this should set us up and i doubt any cooking pots here are left so we can't even eat any of them but maybe let's try please be a cooking pot in here 
please. N nope. Game said, fuck you and your cooking pot, starve to death. You dirty, dirty peasant. Gotta love it. <laughs> Gotta love it. <coughs> Alright. Apologize about that. Um, let's see if we can get this runt encounter done before we actually starve to death. Tried to mod it to look like those typical graphic mod and I fucked up my game. You have to be careful. Um, that is something that's also been, uh, I've been hesitant to do because I'm not really a PC gamer. Like I've only recently gotten into it. And even, even with the, the mods that I've put into, um, the kingdom come, I'm not playing with a whole lot right now. I have a couple visual ones. I have the unlimited saves mod and that's only because it's a lot easier when I'm making content. So you know, right now um, I'm streaming, I'm recording, I've got the game running, I've got a few mods, so it's like if the game crashes, it's pretty substantial. You know, I doubt I doubt people, you know, on a stream are going to want to watch me replay three hours of grinding or something. So it just makes it a lot more convenient that I can save at any time. But other than that, I don't really run with a whole lot of mods. Um, but yeah, downloading some of them is like you need a fucking engineering degree I feel like like for me it, it doesn't just come natural um like the no mo slow mo mod that I have in um it basically cuts out that slow motion timing effect um it was such a process to try to get that try to get the um the mod in cause you have to like go into the mod files and all this different stuff it's not easy it's not easy and it's so easy to download two mods that don't interact with each other and yeah like you like you said panther it just fucks up your whole game all right we made it how many hours have i played in kcd total i want to say i'm probably at this point i'm probably approaching about five thousand hours Probably something around that because I think I have 2800 on my PlayStation on my PlayStation 5 I think I want to say I had about why did you do it to be fast uh probably about eight or nine hundred on my why? PlayStation 4 why did you and do probably have about close to about 150 to 200 on my PC now so all in I want to say right around 5k forgive me, forgive me for everything Run. I'll never run away again. Oh, yes, I will. I can promise you, I will be running a lot. <laughs> I plan on running quite a bit. Done three proper playthroughs? Yeah. Um, a lot of my playthroughs are just me fucking around and playing with the game like I, I can't even tell you how many times i've just away, gone and you know tried to make a million groschen or something like that or you know how many off screen or off camera ones i've tried to do like um away, one guys. life you know permadeath and on? got killed so i had to scrap the whole run you doing? what do you think i'm doing digging turnips the beast just went for me isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Mutt. Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Fuck you, Zbyshek. Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do Fuck with this him? guy. I'd say the poor creature is... What do you care what I... Thank you very much. I came to like you. Oh. And you're in my way. Fuck you. Well, fuck you too. Shit, shit. <laughs> and he right. just runs away. Turn tail and run, you bastard. <laughs> I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever failed that. <laughs> he just uh, he cocks his fist back. Fuck you, and then runs away. <laughs> oh, we're we're definitely taking your gold. Can't really do anything with that, but 
we're taking your gold okay let's let's do a quick like inventory okay we're at we're at 172 groschen could be worse could be a hell of a lot better but it could be worse um oh also let's go over here and pick up this groschen from under the dove coat Uh, is this the right one? Yes, it is. Hey, Legzeus, thanks so much for subscribing, man. I appreciate you. There we go. So we got Baron's Goblet and his Groshan. Gonna try to sell that. Yeah. Not a lot of Bishek supporters out there. Uh, he definitely... Definitely is an asshole. I pretty much betray him every chance I get. Every time he gets to the end, I, I accept his help and try to betray him as quickly as possible. All right. So I genuinely wonder how much health I have right now. I can't check, unfortunately, but I think we already got everything out of here. We did. Um, nothing here left. We already lockpicked this, but we might as well lockpick it again for a little bit more easy XP. There's not going to be anything in there, but it's it's a little bit more lockpicking XP with no chance of getting caught. So why not? Oh, come on. Give me a good roll here. There we go. I like that. Yep, nothing in there. What do you think about the new game? Will it be KCD2? I genuinely think that it will be. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's, it's the franchise they're known for. It's a big title. It's going to make a lot of news. I don't see them going in any other direction. They don't have to. Everyone is looking forward to Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Yeah, I genuinely, I think it's going to be KCD2. All right. Boy, we really look like a peasant there, don't we? Just butt naked in the rain, digging a trench. <laughs> Does it get more peasantly than that? Let's get to it. And here comes the run. All right. We don't have very much health. This this actually is going to be like record time that he fucks us up. Come on. Just kidding. Aha. We're going to get you to hit your friends. Come on. Hit him. Nope. Oh, there it goes. But hey, on the plus side, we are no longer hungry. <laughs> For the first time since this run began, we are not hungry. <laughs> you should have listened to me. We've lost all our equipment twice. We've lost our sword. Chief is We've gotten the shit kicked out of us, but we are not hungry anymore. It's new, isn't it? That's looking at the glass half full. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Yeah. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be. The fate father. of Tinker? Yeah. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully they Even keep the a lot of the ca same characters. Um, obviously, introduce new so ones, bad. but it's like, that's what made it so compelling. Was to uh, to keep those characters in, you know, Radzik, Hanush, all the all the big ones. Did you help make it? Wouldn't mind a little bit of variety on the villagers. <laughs> I think they got like five people in and just rendered all the all the um, different clothing and stuff for all the villagers. There she is. There she is. 
I hope Teresa's in the next game too. We're through the tutorial. Who said it couldn't be done? About the worst I've ever done at the tutorial. Let's go through it. We got the bounty in Scalets. Went to jail in Townburg twice. Lost all of our stolen stuff. Damn near starved to death on the way. And now we're here. I mean... You know how people say best possible start and they show you all these locations you can rob? I think this could be its own tutorial video of like, I made every mistake in Kingdom Come Delivered so you don't have to. I think that could be a good one. <laughs> that couldn't have gone worse if we tried. <laughs> She's trash in my opinion. Why well, don't you, don't you say that about Teresa Panther, you bastard. Teresa's a nice lady. I might as well enjoy this. I think this is the only time I'm actually going to have a weapon equipped. So we're going to absolutely take advantage of this. Yeah. Oh my God. Yep. We did not have to go into our inventory to get it. So we are absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is why they don't let me have a weapon in this playthrough. Cause I'm a fucking menace. Oh God. Where did you come from? Come here. Oh no Thwarted by the environment Here we go Yeah Oh we're getting some strength We're getting warfare This isn't for nothing We're getting stuff done here Any other villagers for us to kill? <laughs> oh yeah? If Bianca is so much better Then where is she? I'll tell you exactly where she is. She died like 10 seconds into the game. Theresa saves us, gives us a home, takes us to Ratai, and then gives herself up to us. Just saying. Theresa is so much better than Bianca. And if you played the DLC, Bianca's fucking useless. She takes Theresa along. Theresa's got to kill the wolf, gather all the materials, take the beer to Henry because Bianca's too lazy to take the beer to him himself I'm just saying every measurable way Teresa is better than Bianca I don't want to hear that Panther that's bullshit and you know it Bianca's I, but Teresa the perfect woman Look at that. And we get some cleavage. I mean, you can't beat it. Henry, can you hear me? Yeah, she's a little dirty right now, but Henry does deserve better. Eh, I mean, she's pretty good. I, I would like to see either one. If they include her, that's fine. That would be canon, as they say. You know, it would it would be it would make sense, but I would like to see him get another romances. So I know where you're coming from, Panther. I'm just saying. Don't don't be don't be mean about my girl. I, I like me my Teresa. Where am I? In Scalitz? Yeah, yeah, Teresa is really pretty good in the DLC. Where else to go. What happened? She's you kind of a badass. Anything? Like, uh, when I, I don't know about y'all, but when I played the DLC, the my Teresa had like, those probably about 20 what human kills. You? Still <laughs> she was fucking oh, slaying was humans you? while Henry was like, was fucking off in Townburg and coming back and everything. She was buried. slaying some humans. I wanted to bury them. At least in my playthrough. Don't thank you. Any good. Oh shit! I just realized. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the beating you took was. How did you manage to save me? Typical checks girl. <laughs> I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers Voltec, from yeah. Townburg hadn't arrived. They I'll have to trust you. I've never been place. with a Czech girl, but I have a feeling they're probably pretty fiery. What in the world were you doing? <laughs> if we're basing it off Teresa, they're probably pretty fiery. 
Hey, hang on a sec, y'all. I'm I'm gonna grab a water real quick. Oh wait. Oh, never mind. Hey, look at that. Look who came prepared. All of them. I couldn't find a water Everyone bottle, but I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have? Don't give me shit for drinking out of a gallon. I usually have a little water bottle right here. No, there isn't. But I didn't think that far ahead, so it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Harahan, thanks for stopping in, man. How you doing? Searching for me. Good evening. Yes, Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So funny. <laughs> so Divish promised the Rata he'd look after. She me. was a bigger badass than Henry at that point. I've no idea. Panther, it's it's worth going on the dates, and I'll tell you exactly why. Um, one, she is pretty compelling, but mainly, if you actually date her. There is some benefits oh, to it, like she gives you a home cooked meal. She can repair your clothes nice. and stuff. I'll bring you water and something. To There's eat. pros and cons to it. I'm just saying, just if you've never been on a date with her, take her out. You might just like her. Just do a first date with her, Panther. Give her one chance, okay? Good morning to you. And then, if you still don't like her, you don't gotta call her. There's no, there's no obligation to. But you know, take her out. She's a good girl. But my uncle will want. I think I think that might be why you don't like her, but. You never really go on a date with Bianca either, so just saying. He took me in, and I talked to him to taking care of you too. I've said my piece. I've been lying here. Uncle will be pleased. Well enough to do what has. He's in the lower castle in Perk. I know, Sir All right. If you insist. Now. You've been we... in. We. Better afford. There we go. You both my life, and I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. Bike ride took longer than expected. Hey, man, I, I don't mind whatsoever. You, uh, you go ahead, go on your bike ride, take care of yourself. I already, uh, I worked out this morning before getting on. That's kind of why I was streaming a little bit late. Um, I got off work pretty early this morning, but I wanted to try and get this done. So let's see all the stuff we can sell. We can actually sell all the saver schnapps. We don't need them. The marigold decoction we'll hold on to. All of these Ancients maps we're going to sell. We're basically, we're actually going to sell everything. We can't access it. That we'll hold on to. It's one Groshen, but... Now, biggest thing. Food. We need to sort out the food. Um, Who was it that said putting apples in the cooking pots gives you uh, a little bit more nourishment? Does that only apply to apples? Or is that any food you put in there? Because... It might be worth picking this food up. You know what? Let's try it. Let's see. Because there's a few cooking pots we can hit. Let's see if this actually gives us... Uh, well, we can't drop that in there. We need some apples. Because before I eat out of there, I want to drop an apple in there. That's not a bad idea. Uh, don't you start. She's not an attractive oh, well, one. I, I mean, she's, she's cute. I mean, she's not hot, but she's cute. Plus, you get to see her. <laughs> so, gets a little cuter after that. I can't show it here. I'll get demonetized in a fucking heartbeat, but... Just saying, if you want to see it on your own, you're more than welcome. No one's stopping you. Um, I need a fucking apple. What the fuck? Oh my god, we have to... Okay, well... We have to sprint over... <laughs> this is going so bad! It just gets worse! We have to basically... Uh, I can't run. But now we have to go over to... I'm gonna fucking die here. I am legitimately going to die. I was trying to get around back to his barn. I'm gonna die on my way to... Oh my god, we can't run, we can't sprint. I, I'm legitimately about to die. To, oh my god, I. there's only one thing I can actually do here. I have to get back to that cooking pot and, and put in a marigold decoction. And then we gotta try and huff it over to the bathhouse. Fuck me, are you kidding? And we're gonna have to redo that whole tutorial. Fuck. Could this be going any worse? What the hell is wrong with me today? I... 
Hopefully this even works. I don't think it's going to. We're, we're going to die. We are legitimately going to die, and I'm going to have to reload all the way back in fucking scallops. Yep. I, I can't access my bandages. <laughs> Run's dead. Run's dead, everybody. I can't believe... <laughs> Chat, be kind. Oh. oh my god. Well, Henry. <laughs> I salute you. Fuck! <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> Looking for a fucking apple. We died. <laughs> oh, going to the mill doesn't help. We can't sleep there. I was trying to get to the bathhouse. The bathhouse was going to be the only way that we could do. At least he doesn't have an arrow to the knee. When was our last save? I bet you I know it's in fucking. Oh, my God. It's out here. Starving to death. Okay. It's it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, F and chat, man. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Fuck. <laughs> well, for anyone curious on what the challenge is today, it's um, apparently if you bleed, you lose. Uh, <laughs> we can't access our inventory, so I can't bandage anything. So, yeah, my only uh, pretty much if I start bleeding in this run, I'm dead. Uh, the, uh, the Marigold decoction did fucking nothing. Um, but at least we didn't die starving. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That has to be one of the dumbest ways I've ever died in this game. That legitimately, that has to be top five on stupidest shit I've ever done to die. Dropping three feet into a river and then not having the, the ability to heal myself or stop bleeding. <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, so we got to avoid all these bandits again. Go back and get the, uh, uh, go back and get the, uh, metal plate battle axe again and die to run again. Oh God. I mean, this is just going to be that kind of run, huh? Oh, and I take back what I said about 10 seconds ago. We're back to starving again. <laughs> I just said, at least Henry's not starving anymore. And the game was like, that's cool. Watch this. Uh, Panther, so there is no autosave whatsoever on hardcore mode. Um, so no. Uh, <laughs> the missions and stuff, they don't actually give you autosaves anymore. Uh, the only way to save in this game mode and hardcore mode is is uh, drinking a savior snops, going to a bathhouse, or um, or sleeping. Now, in my case, I also have the uh, uh, the unlimited saves mod, so this was the last time that I hit F5 and, and saved. So at Hi. least we've got that going for us, and you bet your ass I'm saving before the run fight this time. <laughs> Put your bets in now. That save is definitely going in. I can't fucking believe that. Like, come on. The most basic thing. All right. So there are still bandits that, that spawn around there. So we do still have to be careful when getting this, getting this chest. Cause they'll come out of that door every now and then. And we are in no state to fight them. 
Got it. Doing well so far. I bet you'll die again, you son of a bitch. How dare you? How dare you? I'll be willing to bet that I die again too. But we are not dying again until we get to at least run. Mark me on that. You'll see. I'll prove them all wrong. I'll beat the odds. Definitely not dying in this tutorial. I'll tell you that right now. We're not dying at Peshex Mill either. I'm gonna wait all the way until Ratai and probably die in there by something stupid. This is... See, it makes you think because now I'm, I have no stamina, so I, I physically, I cannot take on that bandit. So if he sees me, we're fucked. I gotta run all the way around. Make sure he doesn't see me. There we go. I think we're far enough back here. He won't see me. There we go. Don't need that torch. Get that torch out of here. And inside we run. Bam. You didn't run oh. You died with the Thank you, Bailiff. Turn. We'll take that shard as well. Dying by something stupid. Probably the most accurate prediction. <laughs> Is there any other way to die? Obviously, the only time you ever die in a game like this is if it's something stupid or if it's a glitch. Like, it's never a skill issue. I am fucking perfect at this game. If, if I ever die in this game, it's clearly the game's fault. It's never my fault. It's, you know, they probably programmed something wrong. Something is out to get me in this game. That, that's the only time I ever die, because I'm pretty much a fucking god. When it comes to playing this game, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, I'm pretty good. You know, except when it comes to navigating stairs or, or beating Black Peter or beating Runt or, you know, pretty much any game mechanic that the game offers. Other than those, I'm pretty much perfect at this game. Uh, yep. Pole arms or maybe my fists. What do you which fists are actually pretty good, as we as we found out in the NPC room. In my way. Fuck you. <laughs> oh god, now this time he's fighting us? What the fuck? No! No, 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 no. We are not dying to you. We are not dying to you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Spish. Fuck you. No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen. Oh my god, he might have fucked us. Oh my god. Panther, I blame you. See? This is your fault. Oh my god. We... Actually... Oh, we're slowly... Yeah, we're still slowly fucking starving to death. So we are still gonna die. Oh my god. I can't... I can't... I can't go for that dove coat. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to actually run back up there. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god, I fucking hate Spishek with all my fucking heart and Harahan, mark this too. I will fuck up Spishek in this playthrough. If I die here because he fucking punched me and I starved to death before I'm able to dig this fucking grave, I, I may just quit the game forever. Like, this is it. This is the end of Griff Gaming and his adventures in KCD. Please, please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day where I'm praying that he digs fast enough so we don't fucking die from starvation. This is awful. This is going to be... I, I said this. <laughs> this is going to be my hardest challenge run yet, and so far it's not really disappointing. I can't fucking see. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And now fuck you and your friends. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. That's right. Fuck you too. Yep, and he's dead. That's right. We're going through his fucking... See this? I came back with... Oh, God. I came back with a vengeance. We took one on our way out. Y'all saw that. We took one of the bandits out on our way out. Fuck that guy. And Panther? I didn't fucking die. <laughs> so fuck you. I did not die. <laughs> we're gonna wait till we get to the mill, and then we're gonna die. We're not watching all this again. Oh god. How the fuck is it a dream when we're still starving? I'm really still hungry in Henry's own dream? Like, come on. Give me a break. Henry can be whatever he wants in this, and he decides to be a starving fucking peasant. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Oh, oh my god. What is going on? <laughs> what is happening with my game? <laughs> this is going horrible. All right, Teresa. Yeah, wake me up. Well, oh my god. Day. I didn't know where else to go. <laughs> Look at that. He's He's got anything? cuts on his neck, on his forehead, on his temple. He's all fucked up. Found you in scout. Why in heaven's My parents. Don't oh worry. my god. Thank you. Any good Christian would have <laughs> You're awake. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> How did you manage? How did you manage? What in the world? They're all so, so, so. Oh. Good morning. To and this. Well, I all right. So obviously, this is our first attempt at the uh, at the mill. Um, for anyone new to the, uh, the just tuning into the stream, this is the first time uh, we've gotten out of the tutorial. So let's uh, let's go ahead and actually get this playthrough started. Um, I hadn't been here before, uh, the first time. So let's uh, let's see. So someone had mentioned earlier uh, that you know throwing an apple into the cooking pot will give us a little bit more nourishment. So let's let's try to scatter around the mill and. Um, you know, see if we can find an apple. Um, I hadn't tried this before, so I'm not really sure where to start looking. Maybe let's try going around the back of the mill. Um, I think you might have some in the back. Now, you want to be really careful around this area. Um, you know, you got to really, really take uh, very good care when walking down these steps. Um... You know, I've seen I've seen some fucking morons on YouTube that like fall right there and die. Um, you know, obviously not not me. Uh, I'm very good at the game, but you know, some fucking dinguses out there will find traversing downstairs pretty hard. So don't be like that. You know, just just try to be better. Um, just saying. Got to be a real idiot to die there. Uh, there is no apples here. Uh, cabbages, carrots, um, hmm. We might be able to add some of those to the cooking pot. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, look, I get a very bad accent when I get stressed, and, uh, <laughs> that'll come out sometimes. Let's see what we can throw in here to, to help alleviate some of our... None of that shit. Okay, we need apples. Like, specifically, only apples. And we're still starving. How does none of that get rid of our starvation? Alright, we, we gotta go to a... Uh, 
We got to go to that bathhouse. That's the only thing that's actually going to get us to, to full nourishment. I, I don't think even dropping anything in that cooking pot is going to help. But, yeah. No, fuck it. We're going to the bathhouse. I, I'm not I'm not scrounging around and killing myself trying to find a fucking apple again. We're playing this safe. It's a new me. It's changed me. I'm playing it smart. Not dying in dumb ways. I'm getting some of my stamina back. Fuck you chicken just because. We can't even pick that up and eat it. That's just that's just a way for me to let off some steam. I'm interested in So what are you in? Um, I think we need to go with heal my wounds. A physician. I have a few I think I that will that can be arranged. That will uh you'll pay in advance. heal all of my uh, my nourishment. And, right. Oh here it is. God. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. I hope you do. <laughs> Four hours. That's not bad. So as long as we just kind of wait for that nourishment to really drop down, um we're gonna have to make sure. And this should save. Yes, and finally the hunger goes away. Fuck this chicken too. <laughs> Just because you're in my fucking way. Fuck you. And there we go. That's a successful run through Ratai. See, it's that easy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the issue was before, but. Yep. No problems. No problems here. So, Ethan Brown, uh, hey, thank you for stopping in. The parameters are no player menu, no inventory, perks, map, or quest logs, and so far, we don't have any weapons equipped, oh, nor do we have any way to equip weapons, Henry, but some have some ideas on how to get around We're it. Going to see my leaves. Of course you are. I may not look the part. But so but far, that is the, um, that's all the parameters, is just no player menu. What happened to the sword he commissioned. All right. Um, or inventory, which means, you know, no if bandages, no healing, uh, potions, no weapons, no armor. Essentially, we just play the whole game like this. We can't, can't pause it in the inventory. Um... Let's sell the stuff first because I have a feeling that these vendors are about to close and we do have some stuff to sell not as much as I'd like after our rest in Townburg um, But we do have some to make to make a little bit of money uh, Let's let's go ahead and level up our our speech while we're here Trade that Harahan, that is something that trust me that is in the back of my mind that I have to be very careful with what I pick up Um, You'll soon equip a bow. I don't think it stays equipped. I think it only equips for that tournament and that's it And the auto yes the auto equip on the bomb braces I don't know how long they're gonna last. I want to say maybe the bomb braces will last us all the way to Vranic I don't think the game strips us until then that might be a saving grace. At least we'll have something on. But let's talk about the problem. I don't know. I've never really paid You're attention right? to one of the game strips you because usually you can just go right back in your inventory and put it right back on, you know? You don't really pay let's... attention to it. But I want to say that the only time That's a that the thing. Vaughn braces are gonna be uh taken off is all the way in Vranic. So it's something. It's not much, but it's something. Good day to you. All right, the rings we can go ahead and sell as well. Twenty nine. Let's have a word about the. Price. It's worth a hundred and eighty. Uh, this cheap bastard, you robbing me. What about this? You're a right. I'm finished. Oh, what an asshole! Really? Uh, and now he's only giving us 27 for it. 
Can we do something about the price? Sure. It'll Why stay not? till the monastery? Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Is this enough? If we do the monastery here. properly, Just that is. I might I might try to switch it up on so you, well, Panther. I, I might I might do a little something something. Shit, for the NPC run, whoever was here for the NPC run, I think we did it probably the funniest way that time around. And it was a complete winger of an idea. I was like, there's no way this is going to work. And somehow it did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Genuinely shocking. Uh, we can sell all those. The bandages. Uh, we can't use the bandages. This is this is all problems. Have to sell that. Have to sell that. The saber schnapps. I have the unlimited saves mod. The saber schnapps aren't really doing me much good. So luckily I can sell those and see it's a really shitty die. So I'm not ever gonna use it to actually bet with. Uh let's try to let's try to get the most out of this. Can we do something? Natural. That should get us all the way to 250. Five. There we go. Getting some good money here. I think we're almost up to just under a thousand, I want to say. Maybe up to about 750. We're going to need about 5,000. Right. Mm hmm. What am I going to do with the money? It's a secret, Panther. It's a secret. You'll see. God when my plan it. comes together, all of you are going to be like, oh, he's a genius. He is an absolute genius. And I'll be like, I know I am. I told you I had a plan. I told you all and you all doubted. Uh, 25. <laughs> Can we do something about the I Hmm. Since it's you. Oh. Okay. So what does that actually put me at? I don't. Oh. Fuck me. Now I'm fat. We went from starving to fat. I meant to talk to him. I didn't mean to eat. Henry was just starving for so long. He sees food. He's like, I'll fucking take it. Um, the apples won't really do me much good now if I buy some, but maybe they will later. Hmm. Well, let's go over to the castle. We'll get the quest moving. And I think tonight we need to rob a little bit of rat eye. Uh, first thing we're gonna need is some, uh, gold, some more gold, and we're also gonna need stealth XP. I have a plan, Arthur. The hell with your plan, Dutch? I, I can't do voiceovers, but that was supposed to be KCV too. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel like my plan is gonna go, a lot like, uh, Dutch's plans. So far, that's the way it's gone. I'm like, hey guys, we're gonna rob Scallets. The first fucking chest I go to, we get caught and get a bounty and basically have to sneak our way all the way through Scallets. I have a plan on how to get fed in Townburg. Like, I'll just get arrested. What does that do? Takes away all the fucking loot we collected in Townburg. Nothing has gone according to plan this whole stream. This whole stream is basically... <laughs> Every way to fuck yourself on a playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's what I should rename it. How to suck at playing Kingdom Come Deliverance by Griff Gaming. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? <laughs> Lewis, so the player menu is considered your inventory, your perk selection, the map, the codex, and the um, your father, uh, like the quest log. I'm sorry, he saved my life. So basically anything uh, that you can access 
Um, in your own inventory. We're allowed to loot stuff, we're allowed to sell, but anything as far as inner inventory we can't actually access other than selling it. You're right. And no perks, obviously. We can't access that part of our menu. Koton, good job on your videos. Can't watch your live stream, but I know that Casey... Hey, Koton, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for the support. I totally understand. I know that the uh, the live streams are a little bit long and sometimes at different times, but I promise all of these are going to uh, be made into uh, long-form videos of like a sum-up of it, so... Um, yeah, it, hopefully you'll be able, able to at least watch that, but uh, I appreciate you stopping in, man, and the kind words. It uh, really means a lot. Sounds rough, looking forward to it. Yep, it, it, it'll be made into a long-form video, much like the others. I'm actually currently in the middle of uh, editing down the um, the NPC playthrough we did last month. So uh, that should be a long-form video before long, and then uh, this one's on, on the agenda for next. And, uh, you know, by the time these live streams end, come Thursday, I'll have a better idea of what our timetable is um, as far as the next Warhorse game. Indeed. Yeah, a stupid apple. That's... I can't believe I'm gonna have to put that into the VOD that our first fucking death was looking for an apple. Like, how much dumber of a way can you die? Legitimately. Have you ever had a stupider way to die at an RPG? Looking for a fucking apple so we don't starve to death and you bleed to death instead. That's terrible. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to keep it straight doing the voiceover for that bit and be like, and here you are, fucking fall down two feet and bleed to fucking death. Terrible. Terrible. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? What are you doing? Yeah. You have no business here. Clear off. Comes fucking hey, naked Henry, Henry to save the day. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to bury my parents. <laughs> Had to. Be that as it may. So. Dumb ways to so die. I could. Uh, probably after all these. <clears throat> between all my challenge runs. Um. The quest rewards only, the amount of times I died to fucking Black Peter, the amount of times I died in that NPC run to Ulrich, this one, uh, the death I had in um, the one health bar challenge, like, I've probably died on stream, in, in video, probably, oh, the way that the entire first series ended... Uh, for this channel, so I started this this whole channel on a uh, hardcore challenge run with all nine negative perks permadeath, and that one ended by uh, episode ten. Um, in another stupid way, the, the, that one was kind of my fault. Well, no, it wasn't my fault because I'm perfect at this game. Uh, the game mechanics fucked me on that one, and uh, I ended up dying. So that series ended. And then, yeah, I've, I've probably had, you know, you know that show, uh, 101 Ways to Die? I've probably died close to 100 times on uh, on video. So I can probably make a pretty good compilation at this point on every way I've died. And make a good little montage of Henry deaths. That might be something that we've welcomed the new uh, KCD t KCD2 game with is all the deaths in KCD1 and how the fuck is Henry even able to make it to KCD2 if, if this is what happened to him in the first game. Okay, let's talk to Peshek. We'll get our lockpicks from him. My name's Henry. My name's Peshek. And talking of you being at death's door while you were lying here, that quack doesn't come cheap. I see. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. That sounds straightforward. Oh, don't worry. No honorable man. Did you eat? I'll prepare. All Listen. right. Jesus Christ. Money. F Still a huge... I think I've already... Watch your mouth, boy. If there's any problem, come and see me. Thanks. 
Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. So we got some spirits that we can't use, but let's get this spade over here. Let's run up to Herman's. And um, look for that ring. We're going to run back to Peshek. Uh, get the lockpicks from him. And then we're going to try to rob as much of Scalets as we... Or, pardon me, not Scalets. Um, Ratai as we can. To gather up some money. We need money. And a shitload of it. And once we hit that money goal, I think, I think we should be all set for the plan of the run, but can never tell. Can never tell. All right. Uh, let's head up this way. I think I still have my torch on me. I do. Save just in case. Never know. I know, right? What an asshole. He doesn't even know. We're about to absolutely get it on with his niece. You'd think we get some sort of dowry or something, but nope. He just being a butthole. Give the give that like button a tickle. Any anyone here? Just uh, just head on over to that like button and just give it a little, little little fondle, a little tickle. I greatly appreciate it. Helps the uh, helps the stream reach some some new viewers and stuff, especially with this big KCD two news. Time. Let's get this stream out there in front of as many people as possible and show them the the misery and the pain and the the absolute heartbreak that this game can bring into their lives much like all of you have had on on one of your playthroughs of kingdom come deliverance um you know it's just it's just not complete without that looming feeling over your head of is this game gonna crash is this game going to decide that my sword is gonna phase through my opponent's head and kill me instead just something about it that just it warms my heart. But no, legitimately love this fucking game to death and can't wait for what Warhorse has next. I would not have as many hours in this game if I didn't love it as I do. That looked like a sack, didn't it? Was that a... Is that a rock? No, that's a that's a bark. It looked like a sack. I thought it was a um, like a little uh, treasure item or something hidden. <laughs> well, Panther, you're only saying that. First off, he doesn't know he's the royal hitman's son. First of all, and two, you're a Teresa hater. All matters of Teresa, you are no longer allowed to comment on. You're just a Teresa hater, and we will not be standing for it. You're a lovely woman. Mwah. 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 I love you, Teresa. You just don't know it yet. We're going to get it on with her. And you're going to have to stand there and watch, Panther. In fact, you know what? Just for you, Panther, I'm taking her on all three dates in this in this run. Just for you. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. We're gonna go all the way to marriage with her as early as possible. I'm making it my goal. We're just gonna wait outside the mill until we can do all three dates with her at once. See where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the debt. Yeah. It'd be better to pinch it from his simping live. Hey, I'll simp to Teresa all day. I don't care. She's a lovely woman. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. 
Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and say we can't so we can get us the uh, the lock picking tutorial. With a cretin like you. Take care now. Try unlocking this trunk. Hold the lock pick on your right hand and use it to feel out the tunnel. There we go. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock to play. But don't stop. You're a dab hand now. Make something out of you. Yeah. Remember, this trunk's Oh, and we have a rat tie tourney tomorrow. That's probably going to be the only way that we're actually allowed to have a weapon equipped. Now, obviously, it won't last through the tournament, but I kind of want to do that rat tie tourney. We're going to have to be quick, though. So. We're going to do this several times until it doesn't let us unlock it anymore. Get it some lock picking XP. Come on. Come on. No. Okay. I was like, I'm not, I'm not breaking a lock on an easy, easy lock pick. No. No. Oh God, where did that go? Come on, give me a good starting location. Here we go. decent okay that's all we can do with that one we can also unlock this one i think there's a uh a savior snops in there oh god i'm gonna break this one aren't i nope i won't um it's nice that we got a lock picking skill but can't pick a perk so it doesn't do us much getting good Not a lot of good that does us. All right. Did we grab everything from here? Yes, we did. Let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll sleep for... An hour. That's just, gonna, that's just gonna give us a save right here. And we've got to go into uh, Rat-Eye and rob them. Uh, one, it's gonna give us more XP, but two... Some money. And we want money. Let's go. Let's do this. At some point, too, I'm going to have to pick uh, 100 nettles to get that plus two to vitality. Every, uh, every point that we can get, I'd like to take because we're basically going to be a squishy bag of meat this whole time since we can't equip weapons or armor. So vitality, agility, any skill points that I can get, I will absolutely take. Nope. Oh! Go away! The fuck are you all doing awake at midnight? Let's try the other place. God, why are you all awake? I waited till midnight so you were in bed. Bunch of whores. Nope. Why? 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 Why are you coming up here? You could have... You're going to be the first one we choke out. I hope you know. Get out of my way. All right. Well, that that that's got to mean that they're all all the chickens we killed earlier. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that should mean that there's no one down here. Got some lockpicks that we can do. Nice. Uh, might as well. Some decent stuff here. I doubt that's actually going to let us do that. I can try it. Nope. It did not let me. Hmm. Have you ever played W3? Uh, The Witcher 3? Yes. Yes, I have. One of my favorite games. It's up there. Um, The only thing... Whenever I go back to play it now, it just... I, I know there's a remastered version of it. I have not played the remastered version, but I know that a little while ago, I kind of went back it, to play it, and, you know, the, the, there was something about the kind of navigation of it that kind of threw me off. Because I remember the first time I played, my first playthrough, I probably put in uh, close to, like, a 150-hour playthrough. Like, completed everything, did everything that I could... And then when I tried to do it again, um, I just, I couldn't get into it the same way. Chris or Yen or Siri. Come on, Siri's like 15, Panther. Get your head out of the gutter. Not Siri. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, what are you doing here? Nothing. Clear off quick or I'll throw you out. No. Oh my god. <laughs> go away. Um, Tris or Yen? I gotta go with Yen. Um, Tris is cool. Yen... There's just... Something about a woman that wants to have sex on a unicorn. You can tell. You can tell she's, uh... A little freaky. She's <laughs> she's fifteen. God. So I'm saying this live right now, not Siri. Yeah, between those three, probably uh, Yen Yennefer. Plus, she's got that perfume that everyone talks about. I mean, I'm just saying. What do we have here? We'll take that, 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 and that's it. Really? You go for Triss? I mean, they're both. They're. Jesus, I see a thief. What? You again? Oh, come here quick! There's uh -uh. a thief. Uh oh. Nah. -uh. uh uh. Okay. And now everyone apparently here is gonna die. It won't let me kill you. Why will you not die? Why won't you die? It won't let me kill him. It won't let me kill him, which means as soon as he wakes up, he's going to report us and we're going to have a bounty. Oh, really? The Witcher 3 series in her early 20s? I thought she was still like 15 or something. I thought she was still young. Medicure, what's going on, man? <laughs> Good to see you, Medi. I don't know why I always thought maybe it's the TV show. Maybe maybe that's what I'm mixing it up with because that's the most recent Witcher three or Witcher stuff that I've 
that I've kind of come in contact with, and I know she was still in her teens. I could have sworn it was semi-related. I'm not saying fully related, but semi-related to the two. But I, I mean, y'all would definitely know more than me. I haven't, I haven't messed with Witcher in a while, but all right. But even still, I'd say Yennefer. I've always had just a, I don't know, I guess a crush on Yennefer, something about her. So my answer stays the same. And I appreciate you guys clearing that up for me because I was thinking I was like, oh boy, this might, this might not go well if I answer incorrectly. <laughs> I've done my homework. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you, Panther. Apparently I have not. So I, I don't know why I was thinking she was still very young, but my answer does not change. Oh god, yep, we got the bounty, and so let's go ahead and get rid of all our stolen stuff. I'm not losing all that again. This is just... All I want to do is make money, and all this game tries to do is take it away from me. Somehow, that guy was still able to report to the guards, even though we choked him out and tried to kill him. Goddamn shame, that is. I was serious. <laughs> yeah. Definitely some cute ones in there. Have you seen the uh, Panther? Have you seen the show? The Witcher show? Uh, if you have, what did you... Um what do you think about uh, them going to a different Geralt? Because I I'm, I believe that Henry Cavill's time as uh, as Geralt, like they couldn't come to an agreement. He wanted to move on. So they're going to uh, Liam Hemsworth. Which um, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I'm, I'm really kind of torn because I like liam hemsworth in the hunger games i just i don't see him being a great Geralt. i don't want to speak too soon but and hopefully i'm wrong but uh yeah henry cavill for that role is going to be tough to replace all right let's go pay our bounty Hopefully it's only like 200 groschen. Let's see. All that stuff is still stolen except that. Uh, we have 770 gold on us. God, we're really moving backwards. We didn't. We didn't really get all that much from the mill. Um, actually, you know what? You. I can sell stolen shit to you, can I? Hey, lad. Don't you want a little wager on the rat aid tourney? Oh wait, no, we can't we can't sell stuff to him until we do the ring quest, huh? Bet on the tourney, but let's go do the ring. God be with you. Let's actually go and do the ring. Um that way we can sell him that stolen stuff, get a little bit more groschen, and then we can go up and do the training. Oh, and we still gotta do the rat eye test. Fuck. Fuck, so much to do. John DeCono. Love. Never seen live, I'm assuming. Yes, a lot of excitement. A lot of excitement for this upcoming week, John. Thank you for stopping in. And and yes, Thursday is going to be um Thursday is gonna be a big day. What I wanted to do, what I really, really wanted to do was uh I was gonna go live and we were gonna, you know, try to do like a watch along. Um you know, so as they roll out the announcement, I was going to, you know, do like a live reaction and stuff. Unfortunately, I've tried. I cannot get the day off from work. Um, I tried to put in for time. Just it's a busy week at work. I'm not going to be able to actually take off for it. But as soon as everything's announced, um, I'll definitely be making a comment, um, you know, in the community posts. And... 
I, I had actually I'd gone back and forth with someone um, on in my comments on one of my videos and they had it was <laughs> it was so funny because they had said, um, you know, something like uh, something about Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. This is right before Warhorse actually announced it. And I basically told him like as a joke, well, when eventually um, hey, who's that? Uh, when eventually Warhorse, you know, lets us know what the hell's going on in the year 2030. Um, you know, I'll try to, I'll try to make some sort of a reaction video and, and, you know, see where we're headed and stuff. And then about three hours later, they announced that they were going to be announcing it on Thursday. So what I'd like to do is after the trailer or whatever it is that they announce, uh, gets actually listed. I'll try to go through it, you know, look for the tiny details, you know, within the video and see what we might actually be, um, be expecting out of it. So I never bought any flower from him. I've got a feeling you're trying to fool me, and all you want is to snoop around here. Clear off before I set the dogs on you. The Netflix? Yes, Panther, on uh, the Netflix show. Is this my first time on your stream as well? For me? I believe so, Panther. I don't know if I've seen you in the live streams before, but... You know, I, I, I'll typically have a lot of people stop in and out and, you know, sometimes either, you know, not leave a comment or whatever it is. So if it is your first time on the stream, uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for stopping in. It means a lot. Okay. If he can sit down, not on that fucking seat, sit down right there. Then again, as long as he sat down. As long as he sat down. What? Go back inside. Go back inside. What's it to be? Get out of here. No, he, he will absolutely wreck my shit. So I cannot get in a fist fight with him. And now that he knows I'm here, uh, he's just going to be following me around. What I need is for him to sit down. If he sits down, I can knock him out. Uh, if he's just standing up like this, I can't. And I already have a bounty in town. I don't want to add to it because then we're going to lose all our money. Come on, you. Okay, he's going inside. Yes, don't look this way. Let's see where's, where he is. Ah, you son of a bitch. This is a bit awkward. Mm, yeah, we're not going to be able to play on his feelings. It was a friend of mine. He, uh, we'll have to buy it on his finger that I gave him for luck. And I figured since he doesn't need it anymore. And you think I rob corpses? Well, I'm sure you wouldn't God be damn. enough to bury him with such a valuable ring. <sighs> or am I wrong? What? I didn't mean to pick that one. Implying I ro oh my God. I did not mean <laughs> to pick that one. It's oh my God. I'm going to enjoy it. <sighs> I picked the wrong one. So. Again, I've probably said it about 10 times now. I, in order to not access my inventory, I play on a controller. I disabled my up and down keys on the directional pad. Since that's the way I usually navigate the dialogue, it's a little bit of a learning curve. So I hit down on it. Oh my God. I hit down on it thinking we're down at the next dialogue option. I hit X and immediately we picked the wrong fucking one. And now he's going to beat the fuck out of us. Oh my God. No, no. Fuck. <laughs> Need some help? <laughs> yeah, I do. Give me the fucking rig. No, just the rig, please. Oh my god, we're having a seizure. Get up, Henry. What the fuck? Get up! <laughs> there we 
we go. Yay. Oh, no. What? Come on. Oh, God. What's the matter with you? Oh. Okay. Will you still talk to us? Oh, my God. No. Now we can't buy it off him. What are you doing here? Uh, all right. Well, he's he's too tough for us. Hey. <laughs> he is. What the? F <laughs> Did anyone else just see What's how he got over that basket? I'm not fighting him. Now, fuck that. Any man that can climb a basket like that, we're not equipped to handle. We're fucking God. We, we got to go to our sword fighting lesson. Uh, we don't have a chance against him. Let me see you now. <laughs> oh, I don't mind at all, Panther. Don't mind at all. It's good to have someone to interact with, you know? Plus, it's a Saturday. I mean, usually whenever I'm watching live streams and stuff, it's because I'm doing stuff, doing stuff around the house you know, doing chores or I'm at work or driving. So, I mean, honestly, whenever I watch a live stream, I'm not usually super active either. So it's totally understandable. I don't mind just the fact that people are even tuning in and watching, supporting the channel, supporting the game. That's, that's enough for me. I love it. I'd be playing this game regardless. So might as well share my terrible experiences with the world. Getting my ass kicked by Runt, getting my ass kicked by the Executioner, clicking the wrong dialogue option continuously. Ugh. I have to say, so far into the game, this is the hardest challenge run I've done. <laughs> oh my god. Now we're gonna die. No, 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 no. Don't let that fucking pull arm. No, 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 no. Oh god. That was fucking scary. If that pole arm would have hit me, would have died. Don't play the innocent. You, <laughs> you crippled, crippled someone, someone you oh. bastard. Not to mention other immoral acts. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. Oh, 150? That's not bad. All right. Oh, absolutely, we'll pay that. All right. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. And spread your arms and legs. Let's see if you have anything else suspicious on you. That's what she said. Okay. Bounty's taken care of. Let's go up to the training arena. That should heal us. I believe. I hope. Yeah, I live out in the uh in the States, Panther. Yes, sir. How about you, where are you watching from? What's in the nest? Oh, I think we have one gold in there. Oh God. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Yeah, one groschen. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? Okay, so if we want to do that tournament, which I do, I'm going to have to go through all the training, learn the Master Strike, and then go back all before the end of the day. Jesus so we've got to power first. through this. I'm here for training. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Let's get to it.
And I am actually going to do the basics. I know they're very, very basic, but we need to get a little bit more sword skill. Because I need to be at at least sword level three in order to uh, get the master strike, which I need. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. There we go. Not standing still here. Right. Good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Ah, that's it. There we All go. Right. All right. Well done. Ah, that's it. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> do you want to go do karate in the basement? I don't have all day, boy. Oh, we got to get one more stab. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent so to I'm gonna have to go super slow for this. As soon as you finish one, uh, so we get, get as much another. XP as possible. Strike. 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 Yeah. So I don't want to do the chain strikes, so we can get as much XP here as we can. What is it? Sudden visitation by the Holy Spirit? Yeah, and he's gonna basically talk yeah. shit to us the whole time. But by doing this, we're landing hits and thereby actually building up passively kind of our sword XP along the way. Yep, there's a level of sword. I wish I could check and see what my sword skill was. Um, now, I will say the Master Strike is not gonna do us any good in the open, you know, in the open world. But what it will do is it'll help us win the tournaments. And the tournaments are going to be good, uh, passive way of making money. What is it? Sudden visitation by the Holy Spirit? Yeah. And uh, get some gear that we can sell. It's not Siri, is it, on? Panther? Yeah. I'm kidding. I, she's an adult, as you said. Let's go. I'm going Bernard I'm going at my own pace I need this sword visitation by the Holy Spirit quickly I'm moving quickly I'm going. Stop rushing me. God, this guy. I swear. There we go. We got a strength perk. I mean, again, can't take the perk, but just the uh, just the skill raising should help us a little bit with uh, with some of the combat encounters. What are you waiting for? What's going on? What's going on is we are grinding for sword. Let's go. So eventually he's going to stop us. There we go. We got a second level, one more level of sword, and we are good. And we might even be able to get that uh, just fighting Han's cape on. And agility. That's good. There we go. Okay, so now we stopped this. Do with it's not mm -hmm. hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. All right. Not bad. Ow. Good. <laughs> not bad. 
The old candy van. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Oh. He surprised me. Uh. Right, we got this, Bernard. Nope. Ah, uh. oh, you bastard. Pack? Please. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we run away. Nope. 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 And we strike. Oh. oh. Honestly, I don't know why they included this. Like, this is just a tutorial on you getting your fucking ass kicked. Man, we've gotten one hit on him. No. Oh, come on! Reach your fucking arms out, Henry. Yeah. Fine. That's enough. I feel this I'm might be another one for new players. They go through That's this fight and they're like, Let's try uh, something more I can't advanced. do this. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. No, oh, you oh, bastard. Why would you do that? Nice. Very good. Nice. All right. Easy. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. Hey, Panther, thanks so Did much I for stopping in, man. It's 1.30 where you are. All right, yeah, you go get you some sleep. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow if you want to join me. Um, I'm more than happy to do it. So, Panther, you get yourself some some sleep, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. All right, buddy? Oh, bastard. All right, that will do. Now you. Oh, he's fucking hungry stand. already. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The boot uh, knocks the blade aside. We're hungry again. Ow. Good. Uh. All right. Ow. Not bad. Very good. Well done. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Ow. Very good. Good. There we go. Getting into a rhythm now. Good. All right. Not bad. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Yeah, see, this is that no mo slow mo mod. I absolutely love it. If if anyone that plays on PC, I recommend this mod so hard. Cuz it actually it makes the combat so much more fast-paced. It doesn't slow down every time you do a perfect block. Wait a while, Henry. I can't say enough good things about it. Whoever made that mod, thank you. And fantastic work. Good greetings, sir Hans. What brings you here? If anyone's curious, uh, go down in the description of this video, and yeah, it's that no mo slow mo. Just click on it. Um, it'll take you to the Nexus page, and and you can download it from there. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hands grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right.
might try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Ah, that's it. Not bad. Nice. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Ah, that's it. There we go. Well done. Moving right All along. Right. Oh, God. and the last thing you bastard! Today, I trick. trusted you. you. Raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. So I'm actually going to kind of fail this one. So we can just keep on hitting him oh, for the XP. Not like that. Wrong, damn it. Not and like once that. we get that sword no. XP up, then I'll do no. it properly. Again. Not like that. We'll go with Hans. No, that's not it. Wrong, damn it. And do that yeah. turny. Not like that. No, not like yeah. that. No. Again. Wrong. Warfare. Okay, yeah. we're getting close. Wrong. Wrong. Again. No. Again. Wrong. Damn it. <laughs> Wrong. Not like that. Uh, no. Again. Uh, Wrong. Damn it. No. Again. Uh, Wrong. Damn it. No. No. Again. Wrong. Again. No. That's uh, not it. Wrong. I actually wonder if we can just keep no, on doing it until again. he kicks us out no. but we don't wrong, have to all i need is that third level wrong, and sword again. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. not like that wrong again no that's not it wrong damn it no that's not it mm. wrong. come on not just like give that. me the xp no that's not it Wrong. No. Wrong. Damn it. No. Wrong. Again. Wrong. Wrong. No. That's not it. No. Again. No. Wrong. Damn it. Wrong. Wrong. No, not like that. Wrong. Again. No, not like that. Not like that. Does this not give XP? No, not it seems like, like it's that. taking an awful Wrong. long time. Again. No. Again. No, not like that. No. Not okay, let's like try that. to do it right a couple of times. That nice. might give us the XP. There we go. Okay, good. Now, finally, we can stop fucking listening to that. God. That's all I needed. Oh, shit. No, that's not it. Come on. That's not it. He said, I heard a long time ago, KCD won't. Any updates on that? So, as of right now, no. Ethan, if you wait until Thursday in four days. Depending on where you live, at 8 p.m. Central European time, uh, Warhorse is making their announcement on what their next game is. Uh, so we will know in exactly four days if it follows Henry or not. Um, so it is kind of an update, but nothing as of two days ago. But yes, I made a post about it, and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and assume that they probably have some sort of a teaser trailer uh, lined up for it, along with a... A date that they're actually going to do and they're going live on YouTube and Twitch to say what their next game is so I have a feeling if you watch on Thursday and I'll probably be making a video about it as well I, I said 
uh, once they release a trailer for it, I'll try to do a, a, a breakdown of it and like what we can get out of the trailer so far, what it looks like direction they're headed in. So uh, keep an eye out and we should know very soon, hopefully. Um, what I need is some food. Uh, there's not a cooking pot there, but there might be one inside. What I need to do is buy some apples. Throw them inside the cooking pot. Alehouse made. There you go. You can sell me apples. You don't sell apples. What the hell do you sell? Hopefully the launch... I'm hoping so. They definitely have a much bigger budget this time around now that they are uh, now that they're owned by a bigger studio. You're right. They took their time. They had six years. It's not just a Kickstarter, so it's not like they have to scrounge for funds. Um, I do see it being smoother. Unfortunately, I'll go ahead and say I don't see it being bug free. Um, most hungry. most open world RPGs never are. Um, you know, think of any big games, with the exception of. My respects to you. I think the only AAA title or big RPG uh -huh. title that's ever, you know, launched without too much of a hitch uh -huh. is probably the um, uh, the Grand Theft Auto games, and even those have their own quirks. Um, you know, the Red Dead Redemption Two had mostly it's like graphical stuff. Um, you know, some comical stuff, but it's never game breaking glitches as far as Rockstar, but you know, Witcher 3 released in an awful state. I mean, look at Cyberpunk. You know, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh my god, what a fucking moron I am. What an idiot. I meant to drop and I didn't hold the fucking button. Um but yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 just came into its own. Like uh, you know, that took three years to fix up. You know, to a point where they lost a lot of their game base uh, at the start. And then, you know, they kind of cleaned it up pretty well. So I don't see it being perfect. And that's that's not a knock on Warhorse at all. It's just the nature of these kind of games. You can play test all that you want. Um, you know, you can have all the testers that you want. But once you get, you know, they might have... 20 or 30 developer testers, you know, that come in and play the game and try to break it in various ways and they can fix those. But essentially, once you launch a game and thousands of people start playing it, you, you've now, you know, you've now gone live with your with your bug testing and stuff and it almost never goes smooth, you know. it. Um, but they responded pretty well. They did a lot with this game, especially still being the small studio that they were. So I'm very hopeful. Um... When, when it does release, like I said, I don't see it being glitch-free, but I do see them getting on it very quickly, staying passionate about it, and, uh... Look out. They, um... Ah. Oh my god! Uh... Things just can't go right today, can they? Let's see where another cooking pot is. Oh my god. Fucking stairs. That's been the biggest enemy so far today, is stairs. How much stupider of an enemy can you have than fucking gravity? Ah. Is this open? Yep. We're taking your cooking pot. Oh my god. And doorways. Okay. So we got our sword. Let's... You know what? While we're right here, I'm going to save just in case. While we're right here, I really want to do that mission for Peshek. I want to get that executioner thing done and over with. We never got that ring and that is solely so I can bet with Peshek and we can do that tourney. 
Hopefully it doesn't make me go all the way to Kohelnitz uh, to move forward. I think he'll let you bet with him pretty much right away. In fact, before I even do the ring, I'm going to do the ring at night when we can knock out the Executioner. I'm going to go and see if I can bet with him now. No, that might be a stupid idea. What time is it? Oh, no, it's noon. Okay, no, we got plenty of time. We have got plenty of time. I think we have until five. Can anyone in chat confirm that? I think we have until about four or five in the afternoon to actually enroll in the tournament before it kicks us out. But I think I want to bet with Peshek now. Because I do plan to win. Please tell me I can bet with you. Bet on the turn. Of course. What can I bet? Let's keep it. If you, if you, that's a... All right, well, I'm glad. There we go. Bet the full hundred. Take care now. Perfect. Now, before we do, we need that master strike, which means we got to beat Hans. And we got to start the, uh, the keeping the peace. I wonder what our nourishment is right now. I wish I had a way to check just to see how much those apples really do. Do they just add five? Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, two. Chandler, yeah. It's, it's definitely proven unique so far. Not being able to access anything in her in our inventory outside of interactive so as you saw with the uh the cooking pot like we can interact with stuff but as far as opening the inventory from here to equip stuff we're not able to do but you came at just the right time this is pretty much going to be the only piece of armor that we can equip and it's one that's equipped for us in this archery challenge Ultimate, yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. How are you on this beautiful Saturday? You never see me actually stream. I'll do it every now and then. I think this is my my third challenge, probably my like tenth or eleventh stream, and I do it kind of. You know, I have to do it around work, so. Usually, whenever I get a few days off at a time, I try to do a full challenge run in those four days. I'll do it every consecutive day until we finish it. So, save the thanks. Get in position. Now, concentrate. Yeah. No armor, no weapons, no perks, uh, no map. If you uh, if you go down in the description, I kind of have a little bit of a breakdown of what we what it pretty much entails. So, see this auto equips these for us we never actually had to go into our um into our player menu to equip these but uh yeah we found out earlier that means also no bandages since you have to open your inventory for that but yeah it's so far it's proven pretty unique you're in bed actually <laughs> Well, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping in. Hopefully, this can uh, this can kind of help put you to sleep. Not out of boredom, just out of something playing in the background, or maybe out of boredom. I don't know. Yeah, I can't wait to see how it goes. Um, if it's if it goes anything like the NPC run that we did, uh, pretty terribly. But I have some ideas That's for this it, one. I have some ideas. I've grown. I'm a smarter man than I was before. There's ways we can exploit this game without the inventory. That's all I'm saying. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? 
Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. Right now, the focus is on money. We need money. Really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. Any time. Pretty entertaining. I appreciate that. If you defeat me, thank you. If you lose, I have enough. I hope so. Good. Then let's get. Otherwise, then I'd question you. Why are you here? If I wasn't, you know, I'm just saying. All right. Can we beat Hans Capon? We should. If I lose to him, it's it's a little embarrassing. He fucking sucks. Yeah. Okay. We got this. We got this. I don't know why I ever doubted myself. Exactly. Chandler, I like where your head is at. See? That's a man thinking outside the box. <laughs> you like my challenger? Yeah. I'm pretty interchangeable, but the challenge runs are fun anyway. I can agree with that. I I try to think of some well, unique ideas anyways. That. Probably just wasn't your day. I All right. told you I what are you grinning about for? Now like, we've got to so Hans, is this get him. What he told you. You can just get the buds cut in the back house to look even more homeless. Sure. Going to be? What mustache Black should we go with? Should we go with a, a different mustache too? We can do that. Excellent. Then we'll get go. that. Uh, what is it? The the military cut. So we're all beat to hell and don't have any hair and just have like a fucking Fu Manchu. No, 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 you bastard. Bugger. Just let me fucking hit you. What? Let me counter. Your end is nigh. Yes, we beat him to the punch. Oh, we got him again. That's it. He's done. He's done. Get over here. Oh, you bastard. How did you recover your stamina? Thank you. Fuck you, Hans. This time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. Olaf, thank you we'll for uh, stopping in. First time stopping in. Keep my bow. Have to do Best a full run with a... Yeah. Um, especially now, you know, they hopefully they'll be making the announcement on what's to come here on Thursday. So I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be digging it back up again. Um, you know, kind of getting into the run. And yes, absolutely. Um, play it on hardcore mode. It's my favorite way to play it. Totally changes the uh, the gameplay style, going from normal to hardcore. I hope he has. But uh, yeah, I have a feeling you're not the only one that's that's digging up the copy of Kingdom Come, especially after they announce what's to come. Now go to the roundhouse. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Me too, Chandler. Hans's character development is second to none. Because honestly, I think. I think everyone that's played this game had the same feelings. We all hated Hans at the beginning. Like, he's the spoiled, like, kind of prissy, you know, rotten, like, kid, basically. He was not fit to lead. Nobody wants him to lead. Hanush is kind of the, his handler, almost. And then by the end, he's your best friend. Like, there wasn't a single person, I think, that disliked Hans at the end. They did a really good job with his character arc. They did exactly what they meant to do, which is present him in a way where you think you're going to hate him. He's going to be your arch nemesis, and he ends up being your best friend. The full beard would look even worse. We'll definitely have to see. Uh, once we go down to, um, to grab that ring, we'll definitely stop off at the, uh, at the bathhouse and, and make Henry look even more homeless. Right now, I need to... Hurry up and get to that tournament. Because we got to talk to the bailiff. Uh, that's going to open up Captain Bernard to let us train with him. We can learn the Master Strike and we can go straight to the tournament. And the uh, combos. I need to learn combos from him. That's going to help us win the tournament. Where the fuck is the bailiff? There he is. Oh, God. 
I don't want to lose that hundred gross and got to be careful of stairs stairs are an arch rival of ours right now and probably will be throughout thanks to the brittle bones perk and good health to you and no agility to put my ah, yes you have mm. all right back to Bernard back to Bernard to learn I agree, Olaf. Definitely one of the best parts for me as well. And see, Ultimate, I think that's a good thing that they did at the end because he definitely matured a lot throughout the game. I think towards the end of the game, he's a lot more fit to lead than he was at the beginning. Because at the beginning, he was kind of... Uh, you know, almost viewed it as a burden. He'd rather go hunting. He he was a lot kind of like um like Charles. Charles the fourth. He would rather party and booze and hunt rather than actually lead. He was kinda on that path to become like a like a a hated leader. And then he really kinda turned it around and I'd be with you. Oh no. May the Lord watch her. Let me train. Come back here. What time is it? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, we have to sit here and wait for him to come back. Because that's right. He goes for lunch. And we're on a time limit with that fucking tournament. He needs to come back. I think he comes back around 1500. I'll still wait till about 1400. There he goes. Okay, good. Now we can learn the Master Strike. Yeah, um, we're not going to be able to do anything with the Master Strike in the main game, but this is going to be key. So we're going to learn combos first, and then we're going to learn that Master Strike. You want to really hurt your opponent. It's no use just flailing at him and hoping you get lucky. You need technique. Using moves Cody, what's going on? Thanks for stopping in. Teresa right, takes them off when you wake up. Exactly. As soon as we got out of, uh, as soon as we got out of, uh, Scallets, you wake up at the mill naked. And of course, because we can't access our inventory, I can't, I can't put anything on. There we go. Beat the hell out of us. The only side. reason we have the vom braces Back right now is because they get auto equipped. They me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. Now you try. That was unnecessary to give us an extra hit. Then from the right, then slash. The strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence. Otherwise oh, you saw the news off. today? Yes. From above. Five Slash more days. From right. Slash from below. Go. Thursday, we'll finally have some some news. Some long overdue, much awaited news. So, I can't wait. All right. There we go. There are lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. Yeah, I can't equip stuff from the chest. You can only... Put stuff in your inventory, but unless you can access your inventory after that, you're pretty much like we can loot stuff, but the only thing I can do is sell it because I need to interact with something. I can put it in a chest or sell it, but I can't equip any of it. I'm pretty good with a sword. You're a bit cocky, ain't you? All right, then let's see what you can do. Right out of soap, get out, wait. I'm ready. Right, we should be able to beat him pretty easy. Usually he's he's pretty weak to combos here. Like he almost never blocks these. If we just back him into the corner, we should be able to spam this. Oh fuck, I ran out of stamina. Come on. Attack ye bastard.
Ultimate, yeah. Um, War Horse is making their announcement on what their next game is going to be this Thursday. So I'm assuming they're probably going to have a release date or at least the start of one and a trailer for what the next game is going to be. We don't know what, but I'm thinking it's going to be the sequel to this one. But they're being very tight lipped. They're not telling us what it is. But, uh, you know, yeah, that will do. That wasn't at all bad. All right. It seems you're ready for the next lesson. Now, Simon. Hey, thanks attention. for stopping in, man. Recently came across, enjoyed thing. the no healing playthrough. Look forward to seeing. Attack. Yeah, we're in the middle of one right now. That's that's proving to be blow. pretty difficult. But, the best is but uh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for uh, for supporting the channel, stopping in all that. I'm glad you enjoy it. Strike him at the same time. Attack me and I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, long awaited, long overdue. I mean, I parry and strike in one move. There's no defense against this technique if it's executed well. The thing is to time it right. Block right into your opponent's strike and match your movement to his. One yeah. Elegant technique and the I think it's going to be right. Kingdom slowly. Come and so there's a uh, there's a channel that covers well um, you know, been around much longer than I did. She was the original one covering this game. Um, Roxy over at Sexy Biscuit, she got early access to see it. She's under an NDA, so she can't well say done. anything before. But she posted, like, some pictures of her reaction watching it. And just based on that, she had pitched an idea a long time ago that Kingdom Come 2 should be called Kingdom Come uh, Retribution instead of deliverance retribution and it was basically her like choking up and getting emotional during watching it so i have a feeling it's the sequel and it's going to be called kingdom come retribution will be the i just have that feeling God bless you i'd like to enroll in the big tournament you just made it I can yes you, but first you have to pay the we can stake. still make it okay of course we are? just made it. What's your name? We just oh. made it. Scott, I'll make a note of that. All right. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Hopefully, longsword. Long sword. This is going to be pretty much the only time we have armor in this whole playthrough. So we've got to make sure we take advantage of it. They should take their time. Yeah. I think so too. Um, you know, I'm. I just wanted news. I'm not saying I want them to release it tomorrow. I just wanted like, hey, this is what we're working on. This is when you can expect it, as opposed to the nothing we've gotten. So I'm 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 hoping it's still got another year in the oven. It's just at least now we have some direction on where they're going and, and what they plan to do. We will witness a duel with long swords. I literally said that earlier, Simon. I was like, what if it's just another port for their game? How fucked up would that be? It's just the mobile version. Now that they're on Switch port, they're like, all right, go to the Play Store now, and now you can play Kingdom Come on your phone. That's right. God, I'm fucking good. And now we hit him with a combo. Oh, God, no. Now we hit him with a combo. Aha! And a stab. What's up? Oh, he's out of stamina. Oh, you are so fucked. Have I mentioned recently how much I fucking love that Nomo Slow Mo mod? 
like look how fast paced the action is that it's not slowing down between every single perfect block and master strike like this is the legit fight and this is one of the low level guys once we get to like black peter and stuff this is gonna be fucking incredible god i love this mod anyone that plays this on pc if you're not running the no mo slow mo mod you're fucking up it is amazing it speeds up the action so much Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, that's not it. Really? How many times do we got to hit this fucking guy? No. There we go. We got him. All right. Let me, let me catch back up with chat here. That was, that was intense. Yeah. Going after Sir Mark Bart and, uh, and it's Van Toth. Absolutely. I can't wait. If that's what it is. No wouldn't mind getting it this next week. <laughs> I wouldn't mind either, but you know, the the longer the time in the oven, the better the finished product is going to be. Kingdom Come the TV show. You think they're taking after the uh, the Fallout? Let's see. There's been a lot of video game iterations of shows that have been pretty amazing. The Last of Us was amazing. I haven't started the Fallout series yet. I told my fiance me and her would watch it together. I gave her the premise of it. She's into those kind of shows, so I haven't started it yet. We haven't had a lot of days off together. But just judging based off the graphics, it looks like it's going to be good. For, for anyone that has seen it, no spoilers, please, but... Um, it looks good. I'm not basing that because I've seen it. It just, I'm excited to start watching it. I don't know if Kingdom Come Deliverance would work as a show though. Maybe. But even though it's an open sandbox in this, like you can do whatever you want. The story is pretty, pretty linear. I don't, I mean, maybe it'll work, but. Oh, come on. Short little fucking stubby axe. Okay, this motherfucker is not attacking. It's amazing? Okay, that's all I need to know. It looked amazing. I was hoping that it was. I'm hoping that they didn't fuck it up. But yes, that's not even a spoiler. That's actually exactly what I wanted to hear. I was hoping they did a good job with it. Okay, motherfucker is not attacking. Time to start cheesing. If you don't attack, you get the pew pew. Most OP strategy ever. Just run away. Now attack me. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's right. Oh, come on. Really? That doesn't hit? The game fucked me. Oh, my God. Fucked by game mechanics. Come on. How does he survive that? Like, genuinely, how have we hit him with, like, five of those and he's lived? Come on, you bastard. You motherfucker. That's it. Oh, no! It didn't let me turn! <laughs> oh, my God! Fuck you! Oh, come on. This is not going well at all. I guess it fits in... It's in theme of this run. So far, pretty much everything has gone terribly wrong. Yeah, I think he beat us. Oh, you bastard. Start growing into the new AAA. I, I mean, if they do it right, AAA companies can be so good 
Um, hopefully they just don't, you know, kind of fall back on their name and, and stop giving effort. I don't see them doing that. They seem like they kind of know their roots and, you know, they seem like they'll, they'll keep up with the, the quality. Okay. We got to be smart here. Because, I mean, we are still super low level. I think we're like level three trying to do this. I can't really check, as is the nature of this kind of run, but we are not a high level trying to beat the entire tournament. I have to really, like, lock in, so if I go silent, I apologize. I'm just, I'm really trying to focus, because one or two hits, and that's it. Son of a... Come on. Oh, no, not Adam, not Adam. Away. There we go. It's not letting me turn. Yeah, I might. Attack. Oh god, I hate the fucking range on this at on this mace. You can't reach out and touch him. There we go. Yes, okay. Uh, Yeah, the Jan Yiska movie, um, I was really looking forward to it. That's, uh, so Jan Yiska, for those that don't know, uh, he is actually the motion capture artist for Runt in this game. He directed the movie, it's called Medieval, um, last year. I enjoyed it. It got torn apart by the critics, um, but I enjoyed it because I like this game. So, yeah, Jan Yiska movie called medieval i think it's on max or prime right now one of those streaming services peacock maybe uh, but for those that haven't seen it the damn guillotine chops i know as well positioned as a double a i agree i think them as a uh like an underground you know uh uh indie company works well don't get me wrong, I would love to see their games get more traction because ultimately that just means they get more of a budget and they can kind of, you know, really put some time and effort. They can go on a hiring spree and get a bunch of historians, a bunch of mocap artists, play testers. Like, there's no bad thing to becoming a big studio. The problem is a lot of big studios, they start shifting their focus in so many directions. They kind of become... A jack of all trades, Take master that. of none. Like, look at EA. EA is just... I still play UFC 5, like, offline. Um, and it's like... Every time I play, I'm like, how the fuck are they allowed to release games in this bad of a state? And still have a company. Alright, bitch. Got him again. Got him again. And one more time. Nope, he blocked that one. Bring it on. Yes, baby. Man, it's cheap to buy. Change weapons for the second bout. Prepare to watch a fierce fight. Yeah, no, KCD, so ultimate. Uh, KCD, this game was built on, um, uh, as an indie title. It was, uh, Kickstarter. 
Um, in order to get the budget to build this game, Warhorse Studios, uh, this is the first and only game they've ever made, and they actually did it off a of Kickstarter. So they had um, a bunch of people that were contributing to the development of this game. In fact, fun fact, if you're ever playing this game again, if you go around to all the different uh, conciliation crosses and all the different artworks around the game, if you read them, you'll see a bunch of names on there. The names on there are the people that were in the Kickstarter campaign that helped in the development of this. So, little fun fact for uh, for game lore: they actually they kept the tab on everyone that contributed in the Kickstarter and included them in the game by putting them on all the crosses. Take that. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Man, Axe is just like my nemesis. I can never beat them with Axe. They just don't take that much damage. Especially at my dog shit skill level. I, I almost wonder if we don't have the skills to wield this thing, and that's why it does so little damage. Okay. to the punch and yep dude i don't know what it is with axes i cannot fucking win one of these with axes if it's maces i should be able to beat them with maces but for some reason that second fight i guess i just like to leave it till the last second <laughs> uh let's see let's see special supporters that investor and a, yeah and a kickstarter yeah that investor too sky Bloodbeam will be a good one I definitely think Warhorse could expand. Like, can you imagine a uh, if Warhorse was to build a Mountain Blade esque like game? Like, this is a first person RPG, but I mean, Warhorse just has so much knowledge at this point on historical accuracy and stuff. If they were to do uh, something along the lines of like a Rome Total War, I'm not saying they need to copy those games, but something like in big style combat a, a, a strategy game or something holy shit they would absolutely crush it they would absolutely crush it Come on, fucked. Right, hit him. Yes. Okay. So I, I guess I just got to step in after doing that so it actually reaches him. There we go. I don't like how I'm getting hungry, though. Yes. Okay. That's two. That's two. Dude, that's Manor Lords. Well, see, but Manor Lords, um, I the reason I said Banner Lord is because you're actually a, a hero down on the on the thing. All the all the content that I've seen on Manor Lords so far, it's almost like uh like Medieval Dynasty and Age of Empires put together. Like you're kind of the overlord and you're just putting stuff down, or in battles you just move troops around. I want like a combatant on the field. That you can kind of take on. I mean, maybe that's something in Manor Lords. I haven't seen it yet, though. I haven't seen it. Okay. Black Peter, got to focus again. Like I said, if I fall behind in chat, I'm very sorry. I am I really want to get this tournament done. And win. So, if I go silent, this bastard is, is tough. I hate him, but he's tough. Ugh. Ugh. 
Yep. Ah, shit. I went one too many for it. I got greedy. What's up? Shit yourself? No. God damn, he's aggressive. Try a combo on him. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, he got fucked. It didn't it didn't pull off the last bit of that combo We would have had him too <laughs> Give me the combo give me the combo yes, and now final stab Stab. Nice. That's one. That's one with him. Watch. It's going to give me fucking axes again, and I'm going to get my shit kicked in, and it's going to come down to the third battle again. Or it's going to give me short swords. No, maces? Oh, he is so fucked. He is so fucking fucked. Oh, I'm good with maces. Yeah, you fucked up, buddy. Should have gone with axes. Might have had a chance. Oh god, why did it? Why did it disengage? The game heard me, and it's like, okay, we're gonna make you lose on purpose. Oh, nope. everyone know I definitely hit the block on that it just didn't register yep nope run at me run at me run at me Yes. Oh. <laughs> Easiest one by far. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We just did that at like level four, I think. All right, let me catch back up with chat. If you're looking for... Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sorazzi Very mod friendly. I haven't messed with any of the the mods for Mountain Blade, but some of them look really good. That uh um that Eagle mod, what is it? That basically converts all the maps and everything to uh to the Roman times. Uh that one looks awesome. Uh there's a bunch that that I would like to mess with, but I I haven't yet with Mountain Blade. They certainly up. May the Lord watch out. Hell yeah, and we still got our bomb braces on. Now we gotta run down to Peshex. Uh, we gotta run down to Peshex and, um... Collect our winnings from him. Now fight him again. Oh, uh, we'll fight him, but we're fighting him the way we fight. We ain't fighting him on his terms, I can tell you fucking that right now. Uh, build up your town units like total war, but scale down. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty. That sounds about like what the, what I've seen as far as gameplay from Manor Lord so far. Um, it does look fun. I I thought about covering it. I I really did when it when it comes out in two weeks on in April. Uh, two things. One. 
uh, Warhorse kind of totally fucked that up with their announcement of uh, of their next game. So I feel like I'd I'd rather me personally uh, cover that. Um, just because that's kind of what's tried and true. What do we have here? Hang on a sec. Legitimate question. Has anyone else ever found this outside of Rattai? Am I just now seeing this for the first time? Just a dead horse here? I've legitimately never seen this before. If you have, leave a comment. Because, uh... That's pretty cool. I wonder what that signifies, but, uh... Yeah, I've never seen that before. How long am I going to stream today? So... UFC 300, the prelims for me today start at 5 o'clock. It is currently 3.40, so I am probably going to call it very soon. Uh, I want to go watch that, but um, I will be streaming tomorrow, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and if it takes it, on Wednesday. So, um, yeah, it, uh, it will be streaming for the next few days, but as far as today, um, probably here in the next like 15 or so minutes. W just rejoined the stream. Do you have a dagger? Cause I don't think, uh, W good idea. Here's the problem. In order to use the dagger, I need the perk, uh, the killer perk, which we cannot access. So. I thought the same thing. Trust me, me and you were both in the exact same idea. I was like, I'll be able to assassinate people. Unfortunately, the problem is I can't pick up the perk that lets me assassinate people. Because I thought the exact same thing. Okay. And usually, I take off my vom braces for this. Oh god, he heard me. See, the Vaughn Braces are very loud, and I can't take them off to sneak up on them. And I need him sitting What's down. Oh, God. Ah, little stuff like that. What's that? That makes this run hard. Gotta go very slowly. He heard me, didn't he? Need to back up. Hey, who's there? What's that? These fucking bomb braces, they're the so loud. Yes! All right, we got him. Oh, we got him. You have no idea. My fucking hands are so sweaty. My hands are so sweaty. Because if he'd have turned around at any point, we're, we were fucked. We were so fucked. Oh, my God. <sighs> like, legitimately, my hands are fucking sweating. Uh, fuck it. We're taking all this stuff. We can sell all of it. I don't think it'll over encumber us, and even if it does, we can go straight up to the castle. We can sell it all. Don't care. Good day. Good day, sir. I fucking love it. Uh, let's head over oh, to our chest. God damn it, my stomach hurts. I know, Henry. I know. But hey, don't yeah. you worry. You're gonna get That's some some amazing food right now. Drop his body in the lake. Uh, yeah, let me drop all this stuff off and we can go back and and fuck with his corpse. Because, honestly, I'll fuck that guy. I hate him. For anyone that's seen 
my video on quest uh quest rewards only my challenge run uh fuck that guy and everything he stands for come here you're going into the goddamn river There we go. See you later, bitch. That's GG's. <laughs> I wasn't worried at all. Oh, no, that was that was legitimately tense. I'm like the second he turns around, I'm I'm just dead. There's there's no getting away from it. I am dead. But luckily, he didn't hear us coming. Alright. So let's take everything except for the Warhorse Gambeson. We can now take all that. Alright, and let's go, let's go sell, make a little bit of money. What do we have in here? Okay, let's drop that apple in there. Let's eat that. Should give us a little bit of... A little bit of our hunger back. Um, want my winnings? All right. There'll be another tourney in a week or so. We'll see. Mm, oh, we still can't. We still can't sell items with him. Is is all our stuff still considered stolen? Well, even if it's not, I'm pretty sure the vendors up top are are already closed. I'm pretty sure they're all closed already. Okay. All right. We're at 1.4 thousand groschen, so that's not that's not doing too bad, honestly. We need a little bit more. Let's uh We need to take care of our hunger. So we'll go to the bathhouse for that. Uh, the bathhouse should take us till about midnight. Which should mean that Herman's asleep. We'll run up to the executioner. We'll knock out that ring quest. That way we can trade with Peshek. We can sell him our items. And that should set us up nicely. What are you doing here? I'm interested. So what? A physician. As you were. I'm not giving you that. And how much? What is that going to save us? Like that two groschen? If that. You won't regret Mainly, I'm going to haggle exactly for that. The speech it. XP. It's minimal. But XP is XP. And we're going to take every little bit that we can in this run. Oh god, where am I? Okay, we're still here. Good. Let's run up to the executioner. Get that ring. Steal his shit. Kill his dogs. All the good stuff, you know? All the good stuff. Never save too much. Oh God, where the hell did I go? Oh shit, I think I'm out back. Yep. I went slightly too far left, but... Damn it, that's actually gonna wake up his dogs if we go that way, so we gotta go this back way. He's got some pigs here too. 
Uh, we were able to, we picked that up in Townburg and, uh, on the controller, all you got to do is hold, uh, left automatically, uh, basically the same one to equip your sword, except you hold it. I think it's the same on, uh, PC, but if you play on, um, if you play on console, whichever, uh, direction button you, you tap to equip your sword or take your sword out. If you hold that, um, you'll automatically, if there's a torch in your inventory, you'll automatically equip it. We're taking that. We're taking that. That. And that. Thanks, Herman. Nope. Don't like that. God. Is it not going to give me a better starting location than that? I hate, there we go. I knew it would do it eventually. Yeah, sometimes it's a real pain in the neck. But eventually it'll work. Nah, screw it. Why not? Money's money, and we need all we can get. Yeah, W, you know, I, I, I remember who you are. Yeah, I figured you were going to bed, so I had kind of, uh, I had called it. You need that potion, the lullaby? <laughs> yeah. You know what you are right now, W? You're that, uh, you're that sick in the monastery that just keeps yelling over, I can't sleep! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's who you are right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I slept like shit last night, too. I don't know what it was. Uh, I could not fall asleep. I tossed and turned, and I think I got maybe a total of... Total of about four hours of sleep. Not a whole lot. But... Enough. Enough to do what I needed to do today. Plus all the excitement of, you know, live streaming... UFC 300, the announcement of Warhorse, that's really, it's, it's gotten my energy up a lot, you know? I'm, I'm feeling so, so lively today, even though I, I slept like shit, so. Really keeping me going. Let's see. Oh, good. We got another cooking pot. Actually, we don't need it. We don't need it right now. We just went to the bathhouse. I got it. Uh, this is the way I have to check my nourishment and health. Um, we do not need nourishment right now, and I'd rather save that pot for when we do. Asia is hard on homework. I can only imagine. There's there's a reason that they're number one in academics everywhere. I can imagine, and I, I mean, I wouldn't really get a whole lot more than that when, when I was younger. I'm in my 30s now, so if I get anything under six hours, I'm usually pretty useless. Um, but, uh, yeah. I thought the same thing. When I was in my 20s, what the fuck? Oh my god, what is... What the fuck is happening? Where's the camera going? What the fuck? I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you have <laughs> Why, is... Why is it now, looking down at me? Wait a sec, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. What and the I'll fuck is happening? Too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. <laughs> I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. What's going on with the fucking camera here? Your 
buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. About betting on the tourney, oh. I'd be interested. What kind I'm glad to Oh, no, hang on. Bets off then. Uh pickpocketing? Can we do anything with pickpocketing? I guess it does level up stealth. Can't do a whole Would lot, but I mean me might as well. About the uh, milling craft. Like Was climbing the ladder to go to sleep. Yeah, well, it, it looks like it's centered on me though. Right. It's it's looking Why down not? on Peshek. Was I you're climbing the ladder? Up. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Oh. What's he planning? Hang on. Uh There we go. Um, yeah, I think pick up, uh, pickpocketing is definitely going to be a good pickup, just so we have the ability if we need to. I mean, I don't see us needing it for a whole lot of stuff, but let me save just in case. I don't see us needing it for a whole lot of stuff, but I mean, I'll never, I'll never say no to learning an ability. That's for sure. Hey, lad. <laughs> I love this game. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll stand here it's that kind of unpredictability that uh, try that keeps me coming back. Am I just going to have a normal conversation or am I going to get first fucking in the purse. The flung up into the air? Who was around for the glitch where um, also, if you hit an alchemy bench, you, you just kept rising and rising and rising and rising. That was an early, I want to say within the first year. Who was around for that? As soon as you interact with an alchemy bench, you like fly up above the fucking game map and just kept going. That was probably the funniest shit. And so many people were probably like, what is going on here? I know I was one of them. I was like, is this supposed to happen? Like you're having an out of body experience trying to craft alchemy. Oh God. Me. Caught you. Son of a bitch. This was for real. I'll be yelling for a guard. Well, Try thank God it again. wasn't for real. We need more than five seconds. Oh God, and now it's even further? How the fuck do you expect us to do that? There's no way. Caught you. If this was for real, well, I'd be fucking for a guard. put it in a more accessible Try pocket. Again. You're trying to teach me by just berating me. Put it somewhere close. There we go, now we got it. Got it. Way. Best practice. Thanks, Pash. You're welcome. All right. Now we know how to pickpocket. We've got a decent amount of lock picks. We've got the ring quest done. What else did I say we needed to do? I want to try and try and clean this up. I mean, I can't access my my quest log. Um, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we have to go on the patrol with Nightingale. We have to sell. We got to sell all that stuff. Truly going to fall asleep thanks to you, so good night. Hey, Ultimate, thank you so much for stopping in. We don't have much longer today. If you're able to stop in tomorrow, should be around the same time. I'll make a post about it, um, but yeah. Hey, thank you so much for stopping in, bud. Uh, if you have a lot of extra gross, you can pay that guy in Scalet to slump at the front gate for a side quest pickpocketing. He levels you up automatically. Yeah, um, the, uh, the Vagabond. Um... Yeah, we might have to do that a little bit later. A little bit later. Um, just because the first one is that guard, and I'm pretty sure he has he has pretty good awareness. I've pretty much always been caught by that fucking guard. That Pazdera. Um all right, I need to sell some of that gear. We need to kind of make a, a little bit of a, a note on how much gold we have or groschen. So let's go ahead and sleep. That's going to give us a good little save point. We can wait until that debuff goes away. And right around 8 a.m. is when all the vendors open up. So should work out perfect. Oh, yeah, you can just pay him. That's right. Okay. 
all of that and we'll keep that there you just pay him and he'll level you up could be worth doing uh in in just a little bit we should get a good little amount of good pile of groschen from doing this and i still need to do all the uh all the nettles we need to pick up a hundred nettles so we get that plus two to vitality so i think i'll do that on the way back down to the mill uh there should be a good good amount of nettles all all through right here just all along the road i just i don't want to make myself even more over encumbered to where we're crawling but i mean we are already pretty high up over the the level here let me put that torch away there we go and now a nice gentle stroll back to rat eye what do you want to talk about chat hit me with some questions ama ask me anything Got a good little five minute walk ahead of us. What got me into KCD? So honestly, it was Skyrim. Uh, I really liked the way that it was a sword fighting first person game. I've always been into first person games. Now, um, so I was in the military and uh, everyone there always played first person shooters. Uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield. Um so that kind of got me into the first person genre in general i kind of got sick of first person shooters uh halo halo was a big one when i was growing up halo 2 in particular uh modern warfare 2 that was around you know 20 i want to say 20 2007 a long time ago um i kind of got sick of that genre but i still like the first person aspect so skyrim was big fallout 4 was big and then when i saw this game coming out I was always more into Skyrim than I was Fallout, just from the combat perspective. I just, I love first person sword fighting games. Um, and then this one came out and it was like up my alley. It, it really, when, when I saw the trailer drop for this, I'm like, it's like they tailor made a game for me. A first person sword fight, bow, RPG, in the medieval times where... Um, I also like survival games, so I don't know if anyone here has played uh, The Long Dark, uh, Green Hell. Those are both games. I might honestly cover Green Hell on this channel. Um, <clears throat> I have an idea for a challenge run in mind for Green Hell. I've been playing it um, offline a lot recently. Something just got me right back into it. That might be something I explore in the next couple months. Um, a Green Hell... Uh, on the green hell difficulty the hardest difficulty uh story playthrough with uh with a challenge run so that might be something i actually explore i have a really good idea that i think will be intriguing even if people haven't played it i think you guys will be interested in it um just because of the challenge aspect of it but uh, yeah, that's kind of what got me into Kingdom Come is I've, I've always really liked uh, first person games. I got more into the first person fighting games and, and now it's uh, hopefully they'll have a second one for us. Can only hope. And look at that. We are here. God be with you. Fuck, that's stolen? That's still stolen? That's right. We stole that from the executioner. I don't think he's going to buy that, but he will definitely buy that and that. Hold on to the torch. Can we do something? And, you know, we can actually sell that sword to Peshek. That might be the uh, best thing to do with the sword. So we can actually get rid of it.
Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm all winter. Buy them before someone else does. Good health to you. Um. Shit, there's still a bunch of stolen stuff in here, too. But, it's all low-level stuff. We might actually be able to get away with selling it. Can't do anything with it. Not that stuff, but maybe something like the, the koi... Uh, we can sell all that to Peshek, actually. He should have enough gold. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure. Why not? What about this? You won't come... To make that ultimate armor? Um... So... Agree? Not as long as you might think, only because oh. that was already one that I was playing with. So, the way I like to play the game, on a traditional run, uh, like, so not like a challenge run, not one that I'm live streaming, but like, if I'm, if I'm playing at my own pace, I play extremely slowly. Um, you know, I, I take the time to optimize, I grind, um, you know, if I'm in town talking to merchants like this, like, I'm in, I'm in my, like, dapped out, you know, uh, I have like city clothes. I have explorers clothes. I, I really really take in You're looking bright -eyed to that kind of um, Last time I saw you I um, that role-playing aspect. So that was always my stealth set to one in case the stealth goes wrong I'm able to You know, I'm able to hold my own But it was always built for stealth and I was like I wonder if people know just how powerful because it's got good protection it's got fantastic stealth, and on top of that, if you want, you can also max out your charisma. So, basically, it was just me trying to remember which pieces I typically used, and then just having to find them. The, the part that took the longest is finding the pieces that I could find consistently across all playthroughs. Because it, it would have been easy to be like, this is the best piece, and you can find it on this random encounter. But the problem with that becomes if every piece is off a random encounter, there's no re uh, there's no um, repeatable way to get it in every playthrough. So that's what took the longest is finding what pieces I could find, what pieces worked, and where I could find them. And then it just it was just exploring every inch of the map that I can think of until I found the pieces. So that's that's what took the longest. I'd say that probably took about four or five hours. Uh, but the rest of it was just me trying to remember, like, what did I have in this in this set that made it so powerful? But it was a lot of fun to make. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That one uh, I really like making. I'm actually gonna hold on to all of these, other than the spirits. I don't need the spirits, or I do need the spirits. Don't need the bow. Can't equip it. I'd like to discuss the price. And then yeah, sure. for the ultimate armor. Um, the editing is what took the longest. I mean, the editing is always what takes the longest. I mean, since it's any of the challenge runs I do, even even with you know forty hours of footage, I think that no healing run that I did, uh, that was probably I think about thirty five hours of footage in the live streams, and uh, it was about one hundred and twenty editing hours. <laughs> it was about it was about three weeks of. Uh, 40 hours a week that I was trying to put in to edit that thing down. I, I think it came out fantastic. It's it's definitely one of the works that I'm most proud of so far. Uh, especially given the fact that I've been video editing for less than a year. Much less than a year. Um, so that's, that's so far my proudest work, but much more to come. Because the wrong person was in the bed, there was some collateral damage. <laughs> <laughs> There's always gonna be collateral damage. They're just NPCs. Fuck them. You're the main character. You should do whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's the other thing. It was also uh, like learning the patterns. So like when I was trying to find the pants from uh, from that NPC, I'd I'd 
I basically, I think I walked around town with him for about two hours, like without waiting, because otherwise then he'll teleport. I think I spent about an hour tailing him to see what his path was and when he went to bed. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was interesting. Um, let's see. Another question. How do you get good aim with the controller? Tried to max over. Need to kill all the guards with a bow. Gave up five days later. Ah, oh, That one's not really easy to answer. Uh, for me, I'm decent with a bow. And I still fuck up all the time. Um, it's, it's not ideal. It's, it's, honestly, it's practice. Now, depending on what you play on. If you play on a console, there's a there's a cheat out there, um, show aim cursor, and you're able to uh, uh, hey, you're able that, to put this little I'm yellow dot, that see. same yellow dot that you have up. If you just cannot get it at all, uh, put a small little tiny piece of tape on whatever it is you're playing on, whether it's a, a TV, a monitor, whatever it is, a tiny little piece of sc a scotch tape in the exact center. So while that little yellow dot is up. Put it on the center, put a little dot in the middle of that. So when you take out your bow and just practice, you still need to practice. If you ever want to take that piece of tape off and just see which finger it lines up on, on the bow and where you kind of have to be. But unfortunately that's the, one of the things I like about this game. There's not really any way of just finding it out. You just have to practice. Um, I've kind of got my eye in on it All right. because I've done it so much at this point. Um, Another good one is go to the uh, to the bow um, tournaments, just because that kind of helps you get your eye in too. Uh, depending on where you're consistently hitting, and the more you level up bow, uh, the less sway you're gonna have. So, yeah, unfortunately, there's no shortcut to that one. I wish there was. I'd take it every single time and every single playthrough, but I've yet to find a way to simplify that. Unfortunately. Otherwise that guide would be out tomorrow and I feel like that one would get 1 million views because everyone's Everyone gets frustrated with the bow mechanics since it's you That's still too much. I Have considered a challenge room with bows only Finally a reasonable sum. Maybe I'm I feel it would get it would get pretty easy Especially once you get like bow level 20 and it zooms in I I feel like it would kind of get monotonous. I'd have to test it. I'd have to test it And I'd have to kind of gauge the interest of it I I feel like a lot of people would be interested in that and that definitely is something that I would consider I have a different challenge run already in mind. Oh, that's right. I needed to pick up the nettles um, Maybe I'll put it up to a poll. I'll see which one people are more interested in but I have another one in mind that that I think people would really like. I don't like I don't like giving my ideas too early only for the fact that I don't want them. You know, it, it's going to take me a long time to edit this down. Um, I have, uh, you know, I'm going back home to visit family here in a couple weeks. So that's going to put a little bit of a, a slowdown on my editing. So it's not that I don't want to tell you guys ever what I have in mind for a challenge run. It's just before I let it out, I want I like to do testing, make sure that the concept is doable. But also, I don't want someone else with nothing but time to just swoop along and, you know, take the idea. If that makes sense. Um, just because I have a feeling, you know, if 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 it takes me two, three weeks to edit this down, and then, you know, I've got to do all my testing. Then I've then the biggest thing, honestly, is me finding time off around work where I have a few days off consistently um, to find the live stream. So even if uh, even if after I edit something down, I might have to wait another two weeks. Um, I might have to wait another two weeks before I can even, you know, find the time to live stream. And I just I don't mind people sharing ideas or you know if 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 they have an idea too that's very similar to mine i don't i don't mind that at all i just especially now with the announcement coming up i feel like a lot of people on youtube are going to be jumping onto the kingdom come deliverance train if you will 
Um, and yeah, I just, I don't want to have to deal with the battle of, you know, so-and-so already did that run when, you know, I announced three weeks, four weeks before I do it that I plan to, and then they beat me to the punch, if that makes sense. Give us a hint early on, but how long it takes to fire a bow could be a real challenge. Definitely could be. I have ways around it, so I usually don't actually use the U longbow. Uh, there's a couple other bows. I would probably... Yeah, that's interesting. You know, I'm, I might just do it. I might do it. That might be my next one. Um, so I know for a fact that one's going to work. So I don't really have to test that one out. I'll just have to uh, live stream it. I got to see if my other idea will work. If it does, I'll put it up to a poll. Um, and I'll just kind of gauge everyone's interest because the other one is, I think it's pretty interesting. But we will see. Um, does that give me my... Is there a way to check how many how many nettles I have in my inventory? I need 100. Yeah. Capon's hunting bow would be the way to go. Because it's got decent damage. It's got decent speed. That's probably the way I would go. As opposed to raw damage. Because it, it's all well and good to use the best one. And you're pretty much a guaranteed kill on anyone but i mean if i can use capon's bow and hit two people two people in the legs while they're running over to me i'll take two wounded enemies over one enemy at full health especially at high levels uh that's got to be 100 nettles that's got to be i feel like we picked up a lot all the dead chickens i wonder who killed all those chickens what do you real asshole running around here me oh you know what oh, oh. Mother of yeah. I see a thief. no i'm oh. sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean it i didn't mean it i Help. didn't mean it don't Arrest you that thief. i don't want to do it but you're gonna make me do it okay i did not mean to do that it legitimately it like the x button got stuck and it tried to pickpocket her oh god and someone else is gonna tell on us fuck me well we're taking all your money then if you're gonna tell on us we're at least going to rob you. <laughs> what a way to end. Same way we started. Fucking up. Okay. Let's head back. Fuck me. Can't get a break. Stomp her. Well, the problem is we we actually got tattled down by someone else. So if we stomp her, we're gonna go to jail for murder now, because someone saw us. Uh, someone reported us. So at this point, I'd rather she's not the witness anymore. I I heard a dude yell, so he's just gonna report us for murder, and it's gonna be even worse for us. And then we gotta go to jail. Come out with a debuff. Fuck me. I swear, I usually I can play this game, but uh, apparently today I decided to leave my skill somewhere else. Don't know where it went, but it's not with me. Eighty-two nettle. On top of all that, we didn't even get enough fucking nettle. Ah. Give me my nettle and give me my vitality. I know there's nettle around here. Just did that alchemy video. I know there's a bunch. What is this? There it is. That's got to be a hundred. Uh, we'll take some more just in case. I don't want to have to go back out. There we go, and last little bit. There it is. How is it growing on the on the rock? <laughs> Time to go live in Ujits for a while. No, usually, usually I find a way to break the law. Even worse in Ujits, there's too many temptations there. I feel like would be would uh would make our way right back to Scallets really quickly. <laughs> or Ratai. I don't know why I keep calling Ratai Scallets today. I don't know what it is. There's a mental block there. I just... Feels like scallops. <laughs> I 
a shield only run that would be interesting um thing is there's no shield bash all i'd be able to do is defend i don't know how that would work maybe maybe but see i i don't think it would because we we have to have a weapon equipped in order to have a shield like i can't just have a shield so even just defending i feel like i'd be using the weapon maybe a blocking only run maybe like i'm not allowed to attack but again see like this is all the stuff that goes on in my head but master strikes are the way most people play anyways i, I don't feel like that would be a challenge i feel like if anything hey, that would make the back. game easier you know maybe a a no blocking that that could be one a no blocking run um to where i can only attack i can never defend so you know maybe that one might be difficult push someone off a cliff i don't know if the game mechanic i think i'm the only one that can fall off cliffs i've never seen an npc fall off a cliff and take damage trust me i've tried i've tried some stupid stupid challenge run ideas and uh yeah, they don't seem to ever clip off a cliff, or at least they don't take damage from it. Yeah, Master Strikes makes the blade exactly, and, you know, if if anything else, dodges be allowed and no blocking. Maybe. I feel like that might trivialize it, too, if you can just block. Okay, we got our 100 nettles, which means we definitely have our plus 2 to vitality. Let's go ahead and... I want to do a clean slate start tomorrow. So let's go ahead, pay off our bounty. We're at 59 nourishment. I want to be able to, as soon as we pick up the stream tomorrow, go right where we want to go without a bounty, without any of that. So last a little bit for today, we'll pay off our, our bounty. We'll stop off and refill our nourishment again. Head on back to Peshex and we'll, uh, we'll call it for the day. Oh, she's awake and she is probably pissed here. Give me nourishment. I know I just attacked you. I know I was just here. But I need I to use the bathhouse services. The services. And what is it you'd like? Uh, heal my wounds. Healing. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Many enemies. It's usually swords and axes. Yeah. I'd have to test it. Like I said, that's why I test these runs to see, like, if it just, if it's sort of trivial or if it's too... I'm not giving you that too much. challenging, like impossible to get even out of the intro. Um, I typically won't do it. Agility run only Since dodging. You. Maybe. You won't convince me with that. No armor? Oh. Oof. That's rough. You won't regret farewell. Could be fun though. Could be fun. Now, agility only dodging, are you allowed bows? Cause technically you're not blocking. You're not in armor. Would bows be allowed? Well, that's essentially what this one is. This one's no clothes whatsoever. Not only... Not only no armor, no clothing whatsoever. But would bows be allowed in an agility run? Because agility... Is a lot to do with bows. You know what? I might just have an idea. That would be easy. I mean, that's what a bows only run would be. Don't move a Mother finger. Stop. Surrender. Don't you hit me with that fucking pole arm. They always, crimes. they always make what? me so nervous because I don't know if they My ever friend, crack. You look surprised. I've got plenty on you, you scum. Really? Public brawling for one thing, not to mention other troublemaking. So keep your mouth shut. This definitely won't come cheap. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh, sometimes crime pays. Yeah, we'll right. pay it. You've paid for your crimes and hand over all the stuff you What's stole. That? Not with a level cap. I suppose you're right. I'll test it. No armor. But employment the rules where you need to be honorable. That could work. 
for the martial art. So one mod that I've actually always wanted to play around with is the uh, the Perkaholic mod. Uh, so for those that don't know in Nexus, Perkaholic, I think it adds something like 20. So basically it puts a skill tree up for the unarmed, the bow, pole arms, and then it adds a bunch more skills to other ones. Uh, I think maces, it adds a bunch of combos and stuff. But the big one would be the bows, uh, perks. So maybe a bow run only, no armor, only bows, no armor. I might, I might have an idea and honorable. Yes. And all honorable. A Robin Hood run. You heard it here. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's the only time you're going to hear me mention it. I have to test it. And I got to test the Perkaholic mod. I have it downloaded. I've never actually loaded it into the game. So if it makes my game crash all the time, I'm going to have to sit down with that one for, you know, play test it for probably about five, six hours. Make sure the game is still stable. Because um, some of those mods, you know, they sound great. And as soon as you put them in the game, it crashes every 30 seconds, which that for a stream is, you know, I can only imagine how hard that would probably be to watch. But that might be the next one. Because a lot of people have said a bow only run, so I feel like we can make it fun. We can make it kind of like a storytelling element and stuff. So, alrighty, that I usually at this point I would open my uh, my inventory and uh, show you the progress we've made, what quests we've done, and what quests we need to go. Uh, today, unfortunately, it's just the the saving screen. Um, let's go ahead and save. Bam. Um, and let's recap what we did today. Uh, got a bounty in Scalots. Tried to rob him. Failed. Uh, robbed a lot of Townberg. And then went to jail. Died to fucking stairs. So I had to go back to Townberg. But I think we've recovered the run pretty far. Was that my only death? Was my only death today to the fucking stairs? I think it was. How sad is that? Go the entire stream and fucking die to gravity. That's terrible. Terrible. But yeah, I got a lot done. Um, all the way through the tutorial. Got our skills. Already won a tournament. Killed Black Peter. Uh, what do we have next? We've got to go on patrol with Nightingale, and then we have the hunt with Hans Capon. And I think around that time tomorrow, this was kind of like the setup for it. I knew for day one, I think I'm going to start setting daily goals. Um, you know, I kind of had one in my head, but I'll try to fill you guys in. So today the goal was going to be get a good started starting set of money put aside Get some skills trained up, if possible, do a tournament, and get a few quests into the main quest line so we're nice and set up. Uh, if you do that, also think about pull arms with the mod so you can store them in your inventory with the same rules. That mod lets you store polar arms in your inventory? I did not know that. I thought it just added a... That could be interesting. That could definitely be interesting. Because that's always been my gripe, is a pole arms only run is would be tough because, yeah, you can't really store them. You can't, you have to pick them up and you can't buy them anywhere. So that, that would definitely be interesting. But I'll play around with that mod. <clears throat> they are kind of busted. I mean, they're strong, but... um. Here's the thing. It's a yin and a yang because one-on-one -on -one pole arms are busted. Yes. But if you really think about it against multiple opponents, you can't master strike and the blocking on them isn't really all that great. So if, if you're getting ganged up on with three or four enemies, 
I don't feel like that that battle with pole arms would go well because they're also super slow. So if you go back and you know if you if you've got three bandits bearing down on you and you kind of you lean back and they try to hit you, I feel like it would kind of even the odds. And yes, extremely high stat requirements exactly. But anyways, um, that is all I got time for today. I've got to uh I've got to get headed over to my buddy's house, start watching the UFC 300. Annie Munson, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. Right at the end. Got it in right at the end. Thank you. Um but yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm still trying to decide which time I'd like to do it tomorrow. I might do it a bit sooner, what my old time, starting times were. So it would be 11, 11 a.m. EST. Um, so yeah, I might I might go a little bit sooner uh, tomorrow than I did today. Today, I, I had to come home from work in the morning and I had some stuff to set up. But um, I will definitely let you guys know. Hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun so far this this challenge is definitely shaping up to be just that a challenge. So I love that. Um, thank you so much to everyone that stopped in W you're a true champion. Literally at the beginning of the, uh, of the stream, you said you got to go to bed and you came back right at the end. So thank you. Uh, Chandler, thank you so much for stopping in Cody. If you're still here. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Norson, Alexander, uh, ultimate senior, Hilter. I thought that said Hitler. I'm like, I don't know if I can say that. Senor Hilter, thank you so much. Uh, Olaf, everyone, everyone, thank you so much. If I'm missing anyone, I apologize. I'm just scrolling up through the chat. Thank you all so much. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and the run continues. So, peace. I'm out of here. Thank you all.